But yes, you have this nice uh, crimson saber, or, or uh, the uh, scarlet razor, I believe it was, it was called. Yeah, super edgy. Is it appropriate to describe it as nice? Uh, it's a very bloody, pretty great sword. All right. <laughs> it looks imposing and of a fine quality. Probably right. thinks it's look <laughs> nice. Well, yeah, the Lord of Undeath probably would make a nice great sword. You're right. <laughs> if you're that powerful, you you might just figure out how to make a decent sword. Ah, uh, no. yes. So yeah. Um other than that. Oh, and you guys dealt with the Centacraft boss fight I prepared for you. Which Which was a bitch, by the way. <laughs> we also learned that you guys could have finished it off in one round because you did overkill. <laughs> uh, I mean two yeah. rounds. No, it, it no, was a one it, round kill. We did over its max health. Well, not two rounds, but it was kind it of has a, the oh, yeah, because we uh, feel no true. pain thing. Yeah, it, but it, it was a kind of a perfect situation where, I who was it? You got sneak attack twice on it. Jason got to hit it twice. I got a couple hits on it that round, and then Amina also got a decent slap on it. Some higher spell slots were definitely spent on this one. Yeah, wasn't it like a third level spell slot? Something like on that. A first, on a first level spell? <laughs> but yes. So, the sword is in your possession. And you can feel... Something about it. Definitely seems to be... Drawing the we attention of the shadows. But, yeah, we uh, should be taking turns do? on this one. Right. Uh, right. I think I wrapped it up, right? You did. And the yeah. the, uh, the wrapping seemed to almost instantly become wet as though soaked in blood. You know, casual uh, things. Again, uh, we should yeah. probably uh, be trading this thing around so nobody gets possessed by, you know, the the devil, essentially. Oh, no, no, well, no. if any of you, somebody else. you know, end up ever okay, needing to drink blood, you know. Anybody needs a blood transfusion. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we got That's plenty awkward. to spare now. I'm not gonna. It's almost certainly diseased of some kind. <laughs> magical disease. Question: I've always thought about this. Are magic diseases different from normal diseases? Yes. 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 Okay. Cool. Five E just doesn't acknowledge their existence in its core rules, but Would Five E doesn't purify... acknowledge a lot of things in its core rules. Would a yeah. purify food and drink work in the blood? You want to drink it? If but you want to drink like a, blood, you have like a blood <laughs> transfusion or something. Uh, you'll have to figure that out through trial and error, as very few people <laughs> have thought of a blood transfusion, much less the transfusion of corrupted blood that needed to be cured. The blood, I don't. Blood Josh, transfusions don't about? even this exist. Is D &D. Right? You know, somebody's thought of this at this point in this That's game. That's fair. A mad mage probably has thought of something, but their theories I are do. not proven. No, but I mean, in some game somewhere, somebody did that. Maybe. Yeah, but this is a different world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who no, knows? I, I, I just mean, in, in the he sheer amount of D&D that has been played in the history of mankind, I assume somebody's probably thought of that. Maybe that's how Kozak will get his deals when he's in the, ni or in the Nine Hells. <laughs> He'll just... <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. Dumb question. Yeah. Stop me if this is too far. No, I'm playing D &D. Is know. there a magical AIDS if you transfer no, magic poison off. blood? <laughs> is that too far? Uh, There's a normal one. There, there is a normal one. He's gonna. Yeah. That's fair. Um. Depends on what you're referring to in the concept of AIDS alone. I'm not the most familiar with blood transferred diseases as a human being. I mean, that one's not necessarily blood, it's just bodily fluids, but blood is a pretty common one for it. No, no, let's just move on. <laughs> Brevin's being an idiot, let's move on. Nah, he's asking the true questions, and I, as the omnipotent god of this world, can't answer them. 
All right. But yeah, um, you will have obtained what you were primarily sent here for. Where we did do you go it. next? We did it. Okay, so we're going to the fireplace, or are we getting the other sword? Um, I'd like the uh, gold in the other place. That's my vote. I would, uh, yeah. Well, there's gold in the door. fireplace, too, so we can deal with that, too. That was my main draw for Kozak on that one. It's like, hey, there's gold over here. All right. So oh. that's the thing. There's the little bit of gold near the sword, and we want the super magic scary no. sword. That probably is going to kill us, but might not it, kill us. It's only a possibility. It's a very interesting possibility. Let's be honest here. What's it, it's a, a it, it, one of us might die. It most likely <sighs> will not kill every single person. It is true. If all and you that... die, I'll just run away. <laughs> <laughs> if I die, you'll just run away. It'll be good. It'll be I fine. mean. Jason was wanting to go get it. I mean, it was ambivalent. Rai is okay with it, just we need to be quick if we're going to do it. Yeah. But Josh um, was telling us that was probably not a smart idea. <laughs> yeah. And when your tough. DM tells you something might not be the smartest idea, it's, it's, it's a good idea to consider it. <laughs> EF Hutton speaks, people listen. <laughs> But he definitely told us to go pick the, or pick the nose of that Afrit. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, he said that was a great idea. Well, he said yeah. that wouldn't kill us. Yeah. Unless we're stupid with it. He's, he did not say that. You He's... implied that. He did not say that. No, he said as long as we're not dumb, we won't die. I don't think that's all what he said. We don't have much time, man. Well, regardless, yeah. Thank you. Are we, we going to get the sword? Guns? All right, yeah. Let's let's start with the sword. Are we getting the sword? No, yay or nay? Uh, I'd vote yay. One yay. I don't care. I'll vote if I have to. Right. Anybody else? Yays, nays. Um, I'm gonna stay neutral for now. Uh, Again? I have no idea. Are we taking any sort of rest? Uh, again, we try and be quick. What? Yeah. If we're doing that, we might want to just take a short rest. Prayer of healing is only ten minutes, right? Yes. Okay, so Amina is what would be considered pretty hurt. <laughs> she pipes up from the back. Out of 33, like, standard units of health, she's feeling like a 12. Nice. Uh, Definitely right. feeling that. That, that is pretty bad. That's an odd health. scale. Yeah. That's an odd scale to put things on. So, yeah, she's hurting. Uh, where's Rai at? Rai's at about double that, but not much better. So, short rest might be in order. We need some kind of healing, at the very least. Uh, what do you want me to do my prayer of healing? How much does that heal? Uh, I think it's 2d8. But it's, uh, it's six people, though. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah. yeah um, six well, but the the other thing is if we do a short rest, Rai gets all his key back, Amina gets her bardic inspiration back. Yeah, I think that's... that's. Plus, you get a bunch of your spells back, don't you? I do get some. I think it's a good idea to short rest. All right. Yeah. Take an hour, Take a, eat a sandwich, take a nap. Alright, let's All just right. be careful. Yeah. I guess I'll go ahead and cast for of Healing. Cool. Do we want to do it in here, the room with... That is true. The creepy grave room? I guess this is all a creepy grave room. It doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> I can ask our friend and be like, Hey, do you think we're okay to take like an hour breather in here? What friend? Our, uh... Don't the one we... <laughs> the lantern friend. Oh, that oh. one. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not. I mean, the wards on the sword are no longer effective, which means that it is likely more 
to draw the presence of evil to it. Mm, that's not good. Oh. So you're saying we should have taken the rest before we picked it up. Sweet. Notedly, Kozak, you do feel a strange draw toward the sword. Hmm, all right. Um, we should also oh. consider that we left our elven friend outside. Hey, smart. Yes, but I believe he's currently in a ancient library that's held under quite the lock and key. So that is the other option. Do we just skip the sword and run straight to the library and go take the short rest there? Uh, I would rather not risk going out again because I... It's probably going to be way easier for us to get into another altercation if we have to go back there and then come back. True. As opposed to just taking the rest here and then... Okay. We'll just take it here. We'll hopefully not draw too many evil things to us. Yeah, let's... Let's, let's just hope on that one. Short rest, go. We're just going to hope that no Necrocraft decide to walk specifically down here. Yeah, and Amina, <laughs> she has her song yes. of rest now, right? Maybe closing the door would help. Yeah, we would That's definitely That's probably do that. a good idea. Oh, hey, Amina has song of rest. Heck yeah. What does song of rest do? Uh, beginning at second level, you can use uh, sweeping music or oration to help revitalize your wounded allies during a short oh, okay. rest. If you or any friendly creature who can hear you uh, hear your performance or gain hit points at the end of the short rest by spending one or more hit dice, each of those re creatures gets an extra 1d6 HP. That's nice. Yeah, extra d6. Yeah. For free. I mean, smoke them if you got them, I, I guess, <laughs> type thing. It's so funny. I'm going to hang out behind here. Right up, leaving the rest of us. Okay. Well, uh, I, I mean, like, uh, should we all try to, like, <laughs> cover ourselves? Be not in the uh, not out in the open. That's a good idea. All right, fine. Yeah, both are dumb dumbs here. Light yellow. This is supposed to be a bluish because it's supposed to be moonlight. What? My lantern? No. The light oh. that's lighting up the space. It's moonlight coming in through a broken roof. Cool. Well, uh, I would have to uh, see you guys repair appealing. Well, let's gather together. Well, hold on. If we're, how long does prayer of healing take? It's only ten minutes. After that, we can split up. No, let's just take the short rest right now. Just take the hour. That way, everybody gets all their stuff back. All right. Save that for after. Don't yeah, don't mean to prayer of healing. We'll, okay, we'll be so, able to take um, hit dice anyway, so prayer of healing can be saved for later. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, let's just do hit dice and heal everything right. up. Short and rest then... now. All right, taking a short rest. Just hunker down. So we should probably assess our supplies at some point. Figure out what we have to do stuff. Yeah. Remember, you get the extra D6 on the first one. Mm -hmm. Uh... Sure did Amina a lot of good. <laughs> jeez. Rest. It's one oh, extra jeez. d6. Yeah, it's an extra yeah. d6 on your first uh, hit die. Cool. Dude, d8s hate when I roll. I got a 2 on mine. <laughs> yeah, she got a 1 on the d6, then she got a 1 on the frick, or a 2 on the d6, and a uh, 1 on the frickin... I uh, yeah, lack the ability that. to uh, give items uh, short rest. Uh, okay. Wait, why can't items take a short rest? Short rest. Well, I think he just lacks permission. Yeah. Oh, I okay. I, I was like, why? Permission, permission, <laughs> but okay. Boom. There's his first one. All right. Oh, which I think was an eleven, love... but uh, he is well, one point away max. from max. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, which means he would actually go up to maximum because the D6 would instantly take that up. Yep. I didn't add the D6. You do right. have to spend yeah. one uh, He did hit spend dice one to actually die. get it. Oh, okay, cool. Um, and the hit die put him at one point below maximum, so... 
Wait. No point to roll the d6, because it's already getting its full possible effect at 1. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that song of rest is nice. and She can do that any time we want to take a long rest, or a short rest, so. Ooh. That's also a thing. Alright. Just a nice little bit of extra. Yeah, exactly. When it goes up at higher levels, is even better, so. Mm -hmm. Food for thought. Ooh. That sword is starting to get real kind of tempting to hold for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, do we need to pass it on? I think, are you, is that directed towards who? Who is holding the sword right now? Is that directed towards Jason and Kozak, or just Kozak yep. just Jason? Or is that just everybody in the general area? Uh, anybody with an evil alignment. Oh, For some reason, Jason is listed as true neutral, but is also an Oathbreaker Paladin. That is very true, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll have to change that one thing. Jason's grown a lot. He may be uh, used to be true neutral. Uh, uh, Meanwhile, the chaotic good character over here is like, it's okay. We're all friendly <laughs> friends. Uh, I'm sure to, be, just to be fair, I don't think it actually... Um... Oh, you have to mark your alignment. Uh, at this point, Rai's just an idiot traveling with a bunch of like terrible people that he <laughs> thinks are really cool. Well, um, I did this isn't that bad. Well, yeah, Iden's a cleric. He's a god boy. He's I didn't, I didn't was a gladiator. Jason. Oh no, that was guy. fake, wasn't it? <laughs> no, no. Uh, quick hands. Do you want yes. the sword? Old. I Just can't. Old. old. That okay. sword's about twice my size. I can't. I. All right. I'm gonna I'll hoist it on your back like a cross or something. That's what Gruff does. That's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think we I'll, want me holding the lamp and the sword. I'll uh, hold over to Aiden. Alright. Aiden has the sword. Yeah. As a neutral Iden's character, less likely to be... he is not as <laughs> interested in holding it. Ah. Alright. Neat. So he, he, he can hold the blade, and it's not seemingly calling to his darker instincts. Okay. Well, hey, Kozak, I've been meaning to ask. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Don't let me in. I've been meaning you. to ask. You seem a little different lately. Mm. But we, we've been we've been kind of busy, so I, or with people, so I haven't brought it up. But yeah, I mean, we're still well, with people. We still have this one rando chick following us around. Amina gives Ray a dirty look. It's just uh. <laughs> yeah, but who cares? Form has become manifest. Your um, I'll drop the disguise <laughs> for dun, dun, right now. Uh, yeah, his skin is pigmented uh, red. He has kind of uh, the start of fiendish horns. Uh, oh, I am. And on rare instances, he does manifest what looks like a glowing crown of chains with a strange symbol in the middle. Okay, so question. You're not planning on sacrificing like orphans or anything, right? No, of course not. Okay. No, cool. just nobletons no. and daughters. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't serve a purpose. That would just be gleeful slaughter for no reason. We still cool then. Honestly, shapes and colors don't really matter to me. Not gonna lie. <laughs> do, you, do you even understand what this is, right? Not really, no. All right. No, I think it's interesting. I, All right. I, I mean, I assume it's like a devilish thing since we fought those, but I kind of don't really know nor care. <gasps> Indeed. I was, that, was that you? <laughs> was what me? Those devils that showed up to attack us, was that you? I didn't orchestrate it. Um, but they meant... And get cut out and didn't want to do any it was interesting that such bad actors they they weren't very good at pretending i'm surprised that the anyone fell for it at all but yes that was 
if we oh, ever go back God. to that town and realize that the daughters told their father what actually happened while they were gone. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, they didn't even notice the details that would make us make them think that it wasn't real. Oh, that is... I don't think there's any harm there. I don't know. Watching a devil try to perform on, put on a performance that was dead was just too good to pass up for me. Unfortunately, Jason didn't let him go. Well, I, I, I do feel kind of bad for killing him, but eh, all right. They were just banished back. They can be resummoned. It's uh, okay. they, right. they well, knew what they were getting into. Trust me. All right. Cool. So, that's a thing now. How? Uh, so Jim are was you a, devil. a... Oh. yeah, devil or demon? Because I know that can make a difference in things. I am mostly if my sword. Mostly if my sword will hurt you or not. Devilish, not demon in form. Cool. Not Josh, what did my what did my sword hurt more? Was it devils or demons? Uh, cold iron works on demons and fey, whereas cool. silver works on devils and uh, the undead. Yeah, I am not a true devil yet. I am still somewhere between dwarf and devil, as it were. Wait, so did you start out as a dwarf? Or... Yes. Oh. Okay. People can just become devils? Indeed. Not you know apparently. Right things to do. Oh. Can't happen. Do you think that kind of stuff happens with other things? Like, can someone just lousy palsy and suddenly become, I don't know, an angel or a demon or... Well... I looks at was, the bard to our right. I was interested in attaining a power beyond what I had, and I did extensive research. There are records of people becoming, well, there are the common ones such as lichens and uh, vampires, or but there I are think less he common said ones. Common to that. <laughs> well, considering the things that are not common are things like aberrations and indeed celestials, then. I think it warrants. People can become aberrations to, so people so regular people can just really just become anything at a certain point. There is a concept of corruption. Indeed, the uh, the power of a curse is pretty powerful, depending on who casts it. Huh. So or even the the corrupting influence of an aberration. No, now you got me really curious. What what's the end game for you? You're you're I... a devil, right? So your soul's now cl is it claimed by the nine hells? You're gonna end up there. Yes. Isn't that just a realm of torture and uh, misfortune? Just well, where every soul goes to be tormented forever. Well, more a realm of torture and bureaucracy, <laughs> but the. Oh, st See, that's even worse. <laughs> Perhaps. But I'm interested in... The, no, the big there's thing. a reason hell's that way. Let me just put it that way. Coming from the background of bureaucracy in this group, it is hell. <laughs> yeah, I saw my family's ambitions as short-sighted for just holding power in the Dwarven Kingdoms here. I wanted power elsewhere, beyond the, the mortal shell that I was. And You're gonna get to live forever and have that power forever that's the plan or at least as forever as the world is anyways which i assume is pretty forever we don't know yeah that i mean that's indeed part of the reason if i can there's a, a lot of uncertainty with the the afterlife you don't know where you're going to be judged and placed until you have passed Doing this, I have guaranteed a place. Or at least I will. Huh. So it's not even guaranteed yet? What more do you have to do? I'm... Well, the transformation isn't totally complete. I still don't have a true name. I... I, I feel now that if I, I were to die and was sent to hell, I wouldn't be as high up on the chain as I would like yet. Okay. All right. Well, oh, 
So who's your one friend then? The one in the hat who always shows up you when we him. seem to need him. That is awfully con convenient now that I realize this. Of course, he's my benefactor. It wouldn't do me service to speak more on that. All right, I understand. Friends with benefits or something like that. Something like that, indeed. Rai definitely laughs at that, and Amina laughs harder than Rai does. <laughs> <laughs> I'm enjoying this uh, duet. <laughs> I have a rough idea what my wife would do in most situations, so specifically as how she's explained this character, I have a rough idea how it's going to react. Maybe I've made a poor choice of my companions. <laughs> oh, that that's definitely there. It's definitely some Gamora. Um, I'm going to die surrounded by the biggest idiots in the galaxy going on. But just not completely. Well, he probably just didn't realize the kind of ambition that people in this group might have been looking for. Yeah, yeah. So, there's... Shoot. Kozak. Do you still want us to call you Kozak? Do you have, like, another... Oh, wait, you said... He you just said he didn't get the true yeah. name. Yeah. Do you no. want us to call you by that once you get it? No, of course not. I'm not going to be sharing my true name. Okay. Oh. Will you come up with a fake true name to tell us? Sure. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that just just tell us that's the truth. That I'll tell you later. <laughs> but yeah, uh, do you think it's possible to for somebody to become something like a fairy? Um. Would you want to be a pansy like a fairy? <laughs> well, I would... <laughs> underestimate Sorry. the fey but the i'd say that it would be harder than most due to the um the deception that they so often revile and the way that they like to toy with mortals i think it less likely straight up call toy with out. mortals huh i i doubt i doubt uh, I'm sh they have a lot of fun sure I don't know about toying with mortals. I don't know. Have you heard the tale of Hansel and Gretel? The what? The what? Is that a thing, Josh? <laughs> Is there I have like not, a uh, affirmed it? But there are definitely tales of children and fae. Yeah, that's that's what I'm getting at. Is there a, a tale of like? A brownie stole my baby. Oh, is what? a classic line. A brownie stole my baby is a classic uh, story. <laughs> Oh my Dude. gosh, is that like the Australian a dingo stole my a dingo ate my baby? Yeah. No. That's oh. not even like a DD thing. That's just that's just old Fey mythos. They steal babies. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm actually familiar with this kind of stuff though, Josh. <laughs> oh, I know you do. Huh? Huh? What? You he just said no. yes. Okay, yes. cool. Wait. Yeah, yeah, you would be familiar with that considering your history with them. Yeah. His history with the fame. Mm -hmm. Almost he like just he's wanted. a gnome. Yeah, Josh, let me have my fun. <laughs> like a horse gnome. <laughs> let me have my fun. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, the shape change, or the face changer figured it out, I think. But of course, that took a lot of bloodshed and death. I'd hopefully Wait, like to avoid that. The face changer who? The the one evil king. Oh, yeah. Who okay. wanted all Got that it. beauty and stuff. Got you. I don't, yeah. I don't, yeah. They are pretty. They are pretty. He, he became a fae? I think he tried, if I remember right. Well, trying and succeeding are two very distinct things. Oh. I mean, uh, Kozak, you drank the potion. Was it really powerful or something? I wish, no. <laughs> mm. It was equivalent in power to a second level spell that had been sitting and become unstable for a while. <laughs> wow. That's kind of sad. Oh. 
and and to clarify because you did make a check on this before and i've probably forgotten you actually did make a history check on avalair uh Mm -hmm. in the past oh and what was revealed to you was that there was some bad history with avalair uh and the fey folk (laughs) okay yeah Yeah, it wasn't exactly the nicest of situations, but, you know, I'd love to be kid. Hmm. Yeah, Remem- I'd like to be a fairy. Story. Who wouldn't want to be a fairy? Ride raises his hand instantly. <laughs> uh, you just the, don't know. The you Order of the Hells brings more appeal to me. Rai literally t- lights his hand on fire, tattoos glowing, and everything says, eh? Eh? Well, that wouldn't be taken away from you. Don't the fae like nature hate fire? What? Fire is a part uh, of fire's nature. Fire is a part of nature. Yeah. <laughs> We're both like, fire's part of nature. Fire brings life. And it's much heat. Death. It's heat and warmth and stuff. Death is a part of nature. Valid. That's also true. Long story short, I don't think Faye would take too kindly of me just burning stuff for the heck of it. I'm pretty sure that's exactly... They'd love it. In the words of Iden, uh... Heck em. <laughs> It's, uh... Chasing me? <laughs> it's slowly following the sword in its aimless state. Harry what too. Is... Stop. Can you name <laughs> that thing? Alright. Harry too, stand in the middle of the moonlight and stand there twitching for a while to intimidate anyone that comes through the door. Anyone that comes through the door. Okay. Oh, he's next to me. Great. It just starts having a stroke. Of bones. <laughs> Rye takes another step to the left. I wonder if I um, can try to control it. Your rest uh, can come to an end if you want. I there's no yeah uh, nothing. Yeah, we were just enjoying that talk. <laughs> yeah. Well, so we're gonna go s- try to kidnap a scary sword now. Another scary sword. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Rise decided he's waiting at the door on that one. Amina probably doesn't yeah. care either. Come on, Rai. It'll be fun! If stuff comes at me, I'll throw fireballs through the door at you. I'm just not getting involved if I don't have to. Alright. Alright. I mean, the door could shut. Then I gotta go to the fireplace that much faster. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. Scream really loud if you need help. <laughs> okay. I suppose I'll do that. <laughs> Again, I'll stand at the doorway. I'll lob fireballs into it. It was a pretty small room. I could probably hit most of it from the doorway. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Should be fine. We'll be great. <laughs> probably. But on that off chance that something dumb happens like it always seems to happen when I'm around I'm a not this time I'm learning from my previous mistakes <laughs> I'm learning that running headlong into something isn't necessarily the best idea maybe oh, that's... Sc- scout it out ask some people see what we can do I mean we have this magic lantern guy that can tell us what's that's gonna happen that's nonsense <laughs> We've all, you guys have always seemed to run headlong into things, and it's always seemed to turn out just fine. Haven't you guys had two companions die? Indeed, we have. Oh, I mean, I saw the one, but. And I'm... I rest in my case. Well, it seems to turn out mostly fine ever since I got here, so. <laughs> yes, because you're the make or break difference on that one. <laughs> Quick hands, I like you. I've seen you do some good stabby stabby stuff. I don't think any of us are a make or break difference. I think two of us is the make or break difference. So then is it me and you because we're the ones who showed up? 
Okay, I didn't imply that, but you said it, not me. Right. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Notice wow. the six intelligence or whatever intelligence character just said something really smart. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get moving, I guess. No sense waiting right. around for something scary to find us. That's a good point. Also, I just heard some dice roll, so that's never happy. You can't hear dice rolls? Oh, yes, you can. I say through Discord, I can. <laughs> <laughs> and when I hear something that, along the lines of Josh <laughs> rolling dice, I start freaking out. <laughs> That's Brevin's sign to get the crap out of Dodge. It's kept Lodo alive many a time. Alright, Harry 2, keep your sword out. Um, and... Shing. Ghosts, I guess. I'm having my shield and uh, cool sword out. And that's where Rye and Amina sit. So, uh... Oh, didn't mean to close that. Meant to click on right. Who's gonna just... grab it? Uh, I'm staying go. right here. I kind of want to go check out this hall first. Is there anything cool in it? Hold on. Okay. I think that just leads to the service hall. Yeah, it does. Well, this place seems pretty symmetrical. It is. Or at least decently. I mean, aren't those well, kind of known for that? Symmetry, perfection, all that dumb stuff. Alright, uh, guys, ready? Uh, wait. Uh, Remember, you don't have a magic weapon, right? Nope. Alright, um... That should be fine. Technically, mine's not magic and doesn't do crap fire. against undead, so... Uh, can you, uh, fire. reset your spells on a short rest? <laughs> uh, no. Only certain classes oh. get spells back on short rests, and that's a special ability that they're granted. It's right. it's just... Or you're a warlock. Warlock. <laughs> or you're a warlock. That's that's fair. Warlocks do. Because right. they just pretend. Magic weapon. Magic weapon. Uh, yep. All right. Like I said, who's picking it up? Is that you, Jason? Uh, I guess I was just gonna use Mage Hand to pick it up. Oh, that's, that works, too. That's a good call. All right. That did so much the last time we tried, too. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll cast Mage Hand. Sure All right. Up. All right. Josh, explain to us how screwed we are. <laughs> uh, one moment. I, <laughs> I love how he doesn't deny it. He just says, All right, give me a second. <laughs> I've got to set these to be accurate, because they're not... They're not... A they're not how they're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, if the door slams shut, we're all you all are hosed. <laughs> perhaps. No, there's no perhaps. If the door slams shut, you're fighting something that we probably shouldn't be trying to fight. But it's gonna be fun. That means I'm going to spend like three rounds trying to bust the door open. Actually, and when I uh, finally do, the thing will be almost dead and I can kill Steel. Can I use Divine Sense? Divine Sense. You want to activate it? Yes. And okay. he's spooktified. 60 feet, undead, fey, and celestial, right? Yes. Blocked by total cover? Yeah. There's nothing in the room. Save. Oh. I uh, is it? Is it blocked by total cover? I thought it wasn't. It is indeed blocked by total cover. Dang. Yeah, it's a disadvantage to it. Yeah, I think that's it's the fine. ranger one that's. Oh, the ranger not... one includes like dragons and aberrations and other. Well, yeah, but, but that one's just a location. yes, no. Yeah. But I have I have a, a homebrew rule for it that allows rangers to try to locate a specific creature with a survival check when they use it. Yeah, which yeah. makes sense. Honest to goodness. That's how they literally describe it being used, and then they didn't give it that actual ability. So I'm like, this is great. I'll use it that way. Yeah. 
There. Oh, use it as it's supposed to be useful. Oh. Uh, Let's get this over with. Maintained. Okay. You're gonna grab the sword? Yep. Sword. Okay. Pop. Boom. Boom. Okay, the doors slam shut, Rai, your butt is kicked in because this door slides oh, in this way. I was, I was, oh, okay, cool. <laughs> uh. Okay, and now. All right, first things first, I'm breaking through the door. <laughs> okay. Junk. Uh, I'm going to just make a copy of that. Boom. Combat tracker. Let's see. All right, start rolling initiatives. <laughs> I'm gonna get you there, but first I have to actually add you guys to the initiative counter. Okay. Yep. Go ahead and give me your initiative rolls. Uh, should I roll Aaron Eyes too, or are we just gonna exclude her for the combat for sake of? Um. I'd say roll her, but she'll probably skip turn every round anyway. Oh. Okay, Kozak, your total initiative then will be 26. 26, yep. Twenty-six. Update combatant. Okay, your skeleton roll. I don't get to know what Harry 2's initiative is. Oh, Harry 2's initiative is 14. Okay, cool. I was just using DM number 2 to roll them all, and he was set to private. Okay. So with that, top of the initiative is Kozak locked inside this space. All right, there's no visible enemies? Not as you can see. Okay. Going to move that makes me feel comforted. Two, three. And I'm going to prepare a reaction for if I see a hostile to sling a firebolt. Okay. All right. Initiative 20. They will now enter the battlefield. Okay, one moment. Pop, 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 pop. Pop! Oh, Ghosts begin oh. emerging out of their coffins. Alright. Wonderful. And. That should be fun. Oh. Well, hello. Hey, guess what? I think he, I think, I think this elf ghost wants to touch you. Kozak gets his reaction. Kozak gets his reaction if he wants to take it. Save our butts. Uh, it's just a firebolt. It's not going to do much. Hey, uh, these are ghosts. They don't have much help. I'm going to shoot the one next to Jason. Okay. Give me All an right. attack roll. 21. 21 will hit. Nine damage. Nine damage. Okay. Pop. Okay. The fire seems to sputter through its form. Okay. And here we go. You're right. What? Guess what? Charisma save. Pop. Give me a charisma saving throw. How did you guess? <laughs> okay, it's like good. one of the few things I'm good. That's one of the good things, few things I'm good at. Like, <laughs> uh, are you not proficient in it? No, because really? it's not the actual classes thing. It's just firebenders or charisma based. Gotcha. So, 
literally okay. everything is charisma except for my actual saving throw. All right, I need Ident to make me a charisma save. All right. Oh boy, we're gonna get the best. Charisma. Oh, look at that! Oh, nice. nice. Oh, that's Did good. Ident just say nah? <laughs> All right. Hey. I love this. Yeah. Uh, little guy. Yeah. You're gonna have to deal with something else. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, that's scarier. <laughs> oh, I need actually. One moment. Saves that's most a of us. Perfect save. Uh, yeah. I need. Everybody. I think, except those behind cover, probably. I'd be looking the other way because I'm pissed that the door threw me that way. No. Come on. Uh, I need everybody to make wisdom saves except the lady behind the door because she's not. Okay, right, you're good? Yeah. Ident is not. Wait. Uh, Jason, you're fine. Nice. And I believe I need Kozak's roll. Oh, right. Okay. Oof. That is not good. As he lets out a horrid scream across, across the room and its form twists. Uh, Kozak and Iden. Is this the fate of all who pass? Uh, they are affected and they are frightened by the ghost. I love how that's finally what scares Kozak. Nothing we fought before, <laughs> just a ghost. Uh, yep. Brian Target can repeat the saving throw at the end of his turns. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. And these three. Junk. Junk. Uh, I need to know actually how far I can go. Okay. Yeah. Junk. All right. We're just gonna do some withering touches on. Not the bad touch. What is Anything it? The twenty twos. But... Wow. Um. Yeah, twenty twos are gonna hit me. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. What does that do? That's all it does. Okay. Pop, so you take. Oh! Oh! That was a lot of dice! Dang, wow. Yeah, 46 plus 3. So that is gonna be 33 damage total. How about we don't let them do that again? Are you down? I'm okay. not down, but only just. <laughs> Alright, she's up. Bam, 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 bam on door. Skip turn. Alright. I said and that works. The next ones. <laughs> Alright, and coalescing from two particular coffins will emerge shadowy figures. Oh no. Yeah. More? Uh, no, that's uh, not just more. Oh! oh, 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 oh. That's painful. Yeah. Alright. When's Iden's turn and when can he turn undead? Like, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, that would be nice. Jason, control the undead. Oh my gosh. I hit a 10 I made a mistake on these. I didn't update them. Yeah, Jason, you need to control some of these fetchers, and that's not going to do much. How the flip do you already know what they are? <laughs> because I've read... The Monster Manual is my favorite book, and the ghost category is my favorite category. So... <laughs> uh, okay. Kozak, how hard are you? 
I am extremely hurt. Okay, I'll try to help you out. Ah, uh, your okay. skeleton is up. Uh, all right. Gee, that's gonna do a lot. <laughs> he attacks a ghost. <laughs> I love him. Okay. He is my favorite friend the ghost. now. Oh my gosh. And a lot of good that does. <laughs> it. There's no point in rolling. Uh, it does nothing because ghosts can't be hurt by mundane weapons. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Jason, you are up. Yeah. Hope you Arcana check first. Uh, right, the Arcana check. Uh, For the undead, your Arcana it check. Be a religion check. Or whatever religion. check. Get your checks out of the way. So. Get as much info on these things yeah, as you can, because then we can start using that. Oh, so otherwise, that, we are funny. what. It, uh, uh, that's good. Fancy. Nice. Okay. These are within that category, so it's. Okay, that's high enough. And with the crit, that's two. Uh, I was just checking if there you would get a third piece of information or not. Uh, so you can cool. learn three things about uh, the ghost. Uh, what are its abilities? Oh, right. Features. It has the following features. Withering touch, etherealness, horrifying visage, possession, ethereal sight, and incorporeal movement. Uh, yeah, the... all of them are bad news. <laughs> uh, hold on, like, a ethereal touch, I think? Withering touch. A withering That's touch? their That's touch attack. attack. Uh, okay. it's attack. Not, uh, not that one. Um, you don't want to... Uh, read them okay. off again. Withering touch... Etherealness, horrifying visage, possession, ethereal sight, or incorporeal movement. Horrifying visage and possession. Okay, horrifying visage. Each creature within, uh, each non undead creature within 60 feet of the ghost must, uh, that can see it, in other words, within line of sight, must succeed on a DC 13 wisdom saving throw or be frightened for one minute. If the save fails by five or more, the target also takes 1d4 plus 10 years to their life. Uh, or are aged by 1d4 times 10, not plus 10. Yeah. Uh, it's nasty. A frightened target can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of their turns, ending the frightened condition on itself on success, and they will be immune to the effect once they succeed. For 24 hours, that is. Wow. And uh, the yeah. one was Ethereal Sight. Uh, p possession. Oh, possession. Okay. This ability is on a charge of six. Uh, one humanoid that the ghost can see within five feet of it must succeed a DC 13 charisma saving throw or be possessed by the ghost. The ghost then disappears and the target is incapacitated and lose control of their body. In other words, I take control of your character. Wow. And it becomes All the right. boss fight. They can't be targeted Question. by attacks, spells, or other effects except ones that turn undead. It retains right. its intelligence, wisdom, and charisma stats, but uses your physical stats and gains immunity to being charmed and frightened, save, of course, the turning undead. Uh, protection from mm. good and evil stops this from being possible. All right. Huh. Interesting. Okay. It well, could also be ended if you drop to zero HP. The possession, oh. that is. Yeah, I'm just checking one of my features real fast. Okay. okay. Uh, I will, um, bonus action, uh, what was it? Oh, right. Shield of I Faith myself. Up. Shield of Faith. All right. You are shrouded in a black cloak of protection. Then I will go over here. Uh, it can make its opportunity attack if it wants. Of course. Uh, you, I don't have to ask your permission to make those. <laughs> well, 14 miss. Ah, nice. Then I'll do uh, protection from evil and good on Kozak. Uh... I don't think you could do that. 
Oh, is that? Yeah, he oh. is a fiend. Oh, okay. I guess I'll just do. Well, you um... got that. That's a second leveled spell in a turn, I think. That that is true as well. That is another leveled spell in the same turn as well. Um... Oh, is that not like possible? Or no, it's not. Yeah, you uh, can only do great. one leveled spell a turn. Oh, all right. Uh, I guess as an action, I will. Uh... That was you only twenty feet, right? Him. So, uh, attack this thing. Okay. Make me a melee weapon attack. Alright, sick. Nice. Alright, nice. only damage. Since yeah. the Soul Scourger is a actual magic weapon. Also, Josh, I forgot to ask this earlier. Now that we've passed the save on the horrifying visage aren't we immune to it or something like that or is that different uh, I, effect I'm I think up? that's I think that's only the possession that you become immune to oh cool. no well, you, I'm immune you to also it. become immune to horrifying visage if you succeed cool uh, that second attack hits right uh, cool. the second attack 25, 25. Yeah, that hits yeah sick <laughs> I was gonna say if that doesn't we're all screwed <laughs> <laughs> all right so your blade carves through its ethereal form, siphoning bits of its existence off with each heavy cleave left and right. Uh, that ends your turn? Yes, it does. Okay. Mirava, you're up. The magical no. dagger. Yeah, Kozak, you made my... Whatever it was. Uh, uh, you made my dagger magic. Whichever weapon you presented to me. Okay, definitely with the dagger. I'll bonus action disengage. Move up All to right. Edenth and take a stabby stab. Alright. Give me your stabby stab. Pack. Plus one. Hit! Alright, that will hit. Okay. One. Ouch. Okay. And sneak, sneak attack. attack. I get yes. sneak attack on the ghost. You're still technically threatening it. Yeah. Theoretically, no, you shouldn't. But 5th edition doesn't care, and so I won't care right now. Trust me, we need the damage. <laughs> Otherwise, we're not surviving uh -huh. this. All right. All right. Your dagger plunges into its ethereal form. Yeah. All right. Is that your that's, turn? That's that's action and bonus action. Ident is up. Oh. Um. Right. Uh, One. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, go ahead. Uh, uh, you mind if I retroactively take that religion check? Go ahead, and make the religion check. I say Can I do it against the uh, these these boys? <laughs> the or... scary one. Yes, you may. Yes, yeah. please. Billy Pop. Ugh. Is that enough uh, to learn 13 anything? 13 against these ones. 20. Technically would actually be within that range, so yes, you would succeed on that one. Okay. He has the following features. Life drain, create specter, and corporeal movement and sunlight sensitivity. Yeah, tell us how boned we are. Sorry, uh... I, I assume it's exactly what it sounds like, but sure, life drain. Okay. Life Drain is his melee weapon attack, uh, plus 6 to hit, 5 foot reach, 1 creature. It does 48 plus 3 necrotic damage. The creature must succeed a DC 14 constitution saving throw, or its hit point maximum is reduced by the amount of damage dealt. Okay. Cool. And I assume that also, hits you zero, die the creature yeah. dies. Yeah. 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 The pretty standard. You also get raised as an enemy if you die to that. Is that right? Uh, that is not listed in this feature's description. Wait, I might be thinking of something else. All right. Cool beans. Sorry. All right. Back to item, I guess. Or... Sorry. Uh, what right. What will Ident do? Ident is... Well, I don't really know what it usually does. <laughs> but I'll just yeah, do a uh, shield of faith. On him. 
Where is the... Oh, Turn the undead, please. Uh, he does, actually. Turn okay. them dead, boys. Yeah, run to the middle and turn the undead. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, he's frightened he can't. Daggummit. Yes, he is frightened. Okay, so he's in our class of 17 right now. Yes. And... Uh, yeah, he is frightened. So, uh, he'll try to move away from them, right? Yeah, well... Uh, it is not forced movement, but he can't move toward them. Okay. Then he will... Woohoo! Last session of the game! Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe not. An item, turn uh, undead. Do this um, turn. Or is shield of faith an action? As a bonus action. He does have destroy undead. I don't see turn undead anywhere. Well, that's the same feature, if I oh, remember okay. right. It's, it's when you get high enough, it's destroy undead. Uh, I guess um, it's only for a half and lower CR. Yeah, that would be a great Unless idea. You're destroying it, right? Um, but yeah, I don't see the range on this. Uh, look under channel divinity. Channel divinity. Channel divinity. Turn on dead. Uh. Each undead that can see or hear you within 30 feet of you must make a wisdom saving throw. If the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. Yeah, just destroy this just tacked onto that for if they're below a certain power threshold, they just die. It's 30 foot range. So 30 foot and probably best right here or right there. I guess right here maybe. Yes. But he is frightened of this one, so he can't move closer. Okay. Uh. Right. He needs to get over the fear first before he can do that. Uh, what's. It does, like, make a saving? He has throw? to make the save at the end of his turn. Okay, sick. So do something for this turn that he can do. Like, throw some stuff out, like a sacred flame or something, and then right. go from there. We just that. Uh, sacred flame on this one. Okay. Give me that saving throw. Alright. Oh. Oh. Zach helping? I will admit that. He could throw some stuff. Uh, that is a success, uh, so... Can trip no. nothing. Alright. Uh, that'll be all for him. Okay. Uh, make me a... Uh... It was a was. Oof. It was the the horrifying visage. Uh, yeah, make me a wisdom saving throw. Okay, sick. Saves wisdom. Hey, uh, that he's is out there. Enough. He is no longer frightened, and his turn ends. Nice, cool. Rai, you're up. Alrighty. Start with the religion. Alrighty. That's Tell me what you're targeting. Ghosts. Okay. I don't want to deal with the wraith yet. I'll let everybody else figure that out. Apparently, I don't know anything. Yeah, that's not high enough to get something right now. Cool. Um, time to start throwing fire and see if that works. Because <laughs> that's all I'm going to have. Actually, hold up. Let's see here. I might have jumped in here. Give me, give me just a hair of a second. I forgot I had spells too. They're basically spells. Whatever you do, you basically have spells. Um. Okay, let's do. Let's just throw a fire for the first one. Just let everybody else figure that out. 
Yeah, okay. let's do that. Cool. Elemental strike. Go get him. Just on the one next to me. Okay. Hi yeah yeah yeah. Hi yeah yeah yeah. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, that is also a hit. Hi yeah yeah yeah. A hit. <laughs> so am I actually gonna do damage or is it just gonna pass through? Uh, roll damage. What's up with this wall? That's not how that wall is supposed to be at all. Did I just yippee ki -yay this motherfucker? Okay. Uh, let's see. Flying damage it, now. It is kind of magic because I have an elemental inside me. Fire, pop. But I am reaching. Pop. Oh, All fire, fire is magical. Yeah, it doesn't really have a distinction. Cool. Fire is magical. Neat. So I actually do damage. <laughs> Some damage. Better than nothing. As it disperses through its form. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it's exactly doing quite as much. That's what I figured. Right, um, does that turn end? Yeah, let's just end my turn with that. Okay, Kozak. I'll probably die. Alright, which one am I frightened of? This one that over one here. There. Okay. Then. <sighs> I am going to... to do. Ooh. I'm going to make that religion check, actually, for All right. the Wraith, I think, this time. Okay. It's a 20. 20, that is enough to learn. Uh, actually, I gotta check their CR to determine something. Okay, that is actually enough to learn two things. Alright. What features they got? They have, so you've already learned about Life Drain. They have Create Spectre, Incorporeal Movement, Sunlight Sensitivity, and they have Defenses. Um, the Defenses one. Okay. Uh, defenses just lists their resistances and immunities. Um, mm. So, they have resistance to acid, cold, fire, lightning, and thunder damage. They have immunity to necrotic, poison, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing from non-magical attacks that aren't silvered. Good. Alright. Uh, and you can learn one more thing because you beat the, the DC by 5. Right. What else was there? Uh, they have create specter, incorporeal movement, and sunlight sensitivity. Create specter. Okay, the Wraith targets a humanoid within 10 feet of it that has been dead for no longer than one minute and died violently. The target spirit rises as a specter in the space of its corpse or in the nearest unoccupied space. The specter is under the Wraith's control. The Wraith can have no more than seven specters under its control at a time. Alright. Um, so it gets worse if, if you guys start dropping. Yeah. Well, I am in quite the pickle here. I'm going to cast Magic Missile, targeting all three on this one in the center here. Alright, give me those attacks. Alright. Or that damage. Alright. Okay. It's a total of 12 damage. As, a, uh, as Astral Force bursts out from your magical component, and strikes its form. Uh, does All that right. end your turn? 
I am going to bonus action brand of the chainer's gaze this wraith. Okay, what is the save I need for that? I believe it's a wisdom save. Let me double check. I should make that into a macro on your character sheet. Yeah, wisdom saving throw. And okay. Are you making it in? Uh, okay, so it's a wisdom save. Does it use your spell casting, or what's the ability it uses to determine the DC? Charisma, I believe. Your charisma? Yes. Okay. Okay. I've, I've turned it into an actual um, macro on your character sheet, so you can activate that. Um, cool. Actually, um, I've got a set to this, though. It's a bonus action, right? Uh, yes. Boom. It is now in your uh, active abilities space as an actual usable macro. Cool. Okay. So, wisdom save, eh? Yep. Pop. Twelve. I don't think that beats your 14 DC. Does not. Sweet. Alright, so, then. I'm gonna roll the save to get out of Frightened because I'm ending my turn there. Okay. So essentially, we're not dead, we're just fussed. That's pretty fair. hardcore. Okay. I'm I'm in a very bad spot. Um, but there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, I hope you're ready to be okay. bad touch. Yeah. That's end turn. Alrighty. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna be an elvish. Virsena! 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 Okay. Jump. Jump. Okay, here we go. Two on Rai, one on Identh, one on Merver, two on Jason, and two on Kozak. Okay, let's start with Rai because it's the less directly terrifying to roll. My, against my 17. Pop. Unless it's a crit. Oh gosh, yeah, a crit is terrifying. Uh, okay, um, so. Fine. This one reaches for you, and as you dodge it, you pile back into the hand of this one. Ooh. Here you go, baby. Wow. Uh, and Rai is knocked unconscious. As you feel the cold touch of death grip you, and you plop Very to the ground unconscious. Sweet! That killed me at full health, folks. Peace. Okay, this one's for Identh. Even I'm not dead, be. so I can't be Wraith messed with yet. Pop. Still also gotta make that con saving throw. Just try to keep Shield of Faith up. Yes, he does. He does. Uh, that is that enough is to keep it up. Yeah. Okay. Here's the attack for Merver. They rolled two crits, I call yeah. hacks. I'm definitely gonna ah! candy dodge this. Smart move. E, just On getting uncanny dodge. Well done. <laughs> Hop. Okay. Ow. They reach through defense and armor. You managed to just wiggle your way out of taking the brunt of the touch. It's hand passing through your form. All right, here's for Kozak. Alrighty. One. Okay, that's uh, three. Oh my God. What the heck? Josh, roll your dice three more times just to see. Because I haven't that's... seen you. Oh, there's a one. Okay. That's I was dead. like, I haven't seen under a ten in the last like five minutes. So something's I up. Think that's a dead Kozak. That is a dead Kozak. 
Well, He's that already low. I'm wait. I have one left. I'm gonna chrono shift it. Okay. You're gonna nah. chrono shift that crit. Yeah. Move. Okay. Jason, you so have lucky too. The crit too, was buddy. the first one attacking you, if I remember. Right. Okay, and then the twenty-one was the second one. And then the next two were against Jason. Yeah. Okay, so Kozak only gets hit once and both miss Jason. But it almost rolls max okay. damage, son of a bitch. It's not enough to instantly kill him, though. Yeah. I mean, he was at eight hit points. True, but still. I mean, but jeez. Okay. Through the manipulation of time, your understanding of its flow, you're able to mitigate one you know would have likely killed you. Yeah. But you're still <laughs> caught by the second one. Fate will have her due to some degree. As you fall unconscious. Yeah, maybe maybe we should put the say. sword back. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, uh, I was kinda thinking the same thing. Skills. Athletics. Oh. That's not enough to get that door open. And turn. Hold on, can't she just like thunder the door or something? That I mean, yeah, if you wanna risk a cave in. <laughs> I mean, what's the door made out of? Right. Yeah, he can straight up do that. Wait. Okay. There we go. We will float over, point to the treasure, and then. Okay, he will attempt to life drain you, Jason. Alright. I don't think a 16 hits you, does it? Yep. Alright. Uh, does the chainers thing end when you fall unconscious, or does that stay active? I, it doesn't require concentration or anything. I think it stays active for one minute. Okay. And... I'm knocked unconscious. If the creature is knocked unconscious, it enters hollowed ground or is targeted by remove curse. Okay. And that just... that's the minus d6 on saving throws. Okay. It is, yes. Okay, he will attempt to life drain. Uh, I didn't. Oh, that is a miss. Yeah. Right. Skeleton is up. Sadly, there is literally nothing he can do here. Yeah. Can he try and get me up? <laughs> uh, extent of do what you he want? could possibly try to do is a medicine check. Count it, dude. I will take it. Harry Two's decently smart, for because instead of a zombie. Yeah, take a medicine check. Okay. Bop. <laughs> right, you're stabilized. <laughs> hey. Still Good job, Harry Two. He's like wrapped you up with like some of his tattered clothes and then he's using bits of his falling out hair to tie the, uh, tie it with That's like That's gonna be an rope. infection. <laughs> Fire runs through my veins, I'm fine. Jason, you're up. Okay, uh... So... Hmm... Uh, I guess I'll make that religion check. Get Kozak up, please! <laughs> yeah. Well, I can either do that, or try to, like, scare all these guys, or try to put the sword back. Dude, do something. I don't know. That is not enough. Oh, that, that was Iden. But, I guess that's, that's not enough. That was a 13. How does Iden have a minus 2 in religion check? Because he's, he's an idiot? He's not smart. <laughs> he's not smart. So that was a roll of a 13. So My religion is plus 1, so that would be a 14. That would be a 14. 
that would be a success. Okay. Okay. Uh, that and was this against is for the spirits. wraith. Or the wraith, or yeah. The ghost. Okay. Okay. Uh, the wraith. Uh, you've already learned life drain. It's a plus six to hit, forty-eight plus three damage. Uh, you've learned create specter. He has incorporeal movement and sunlight sensitivity. Incorporeal movement. Okay, the wraith can move through other creatures and objects as if though they were difficult terrain. It takes one d ten force damage if it ends its turn inside of an object, though. All right. Your walls mean nothing to me. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I guess I'll spend ten of my lay on hands to uh, get Kozak up. Thank you, Jason. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. I'll mark him at ten. Conscious. I'm not dead yet. All right. So now I'm at five. Uh. Then I'll say to the uh, wraith in Abyssal, we will put the treasure back. Sorry for disturbing your peace. Mm. But understand Abyssal. Abyssal. That'd be useful if it spoke Abyssal. Ah, dang it. Heck. These are more elf like wraiths. <laughs> I think it's more Ooh. likely that they speak. So you're saying they speak dwarvish. <laughs> I guess I'll... Can I say it in common, too? Or would that be too much? You could. Alright, I, I will do that. Alright. Is that all you're going to do with your turn? Or are you going to try to take some action? Uh, uh, healing was my action. So I guess That's I'll be done. Yeah, sadly. You'll be done? Yeah. Okay. Merver, you're up. So these two things block me, so I wouldn't be able to move like that, would I? You could try to squeeze through there, yes. Okay. Sure. I Will it take a check, or... You know what? Sure, no. we'll do it anyway. You only take the yeah. opportunity attacks once you're through there, and there's well, no yeah, I'm check just... system here. I... Bonus action, uh, disengage. Okay. 15, 20. Rogues oh. be like... Oh, I'm over here. So I'll do that. But <laughs> that's my you bad. Moved I probably. Yeah. He's small. Did I? It's... Sorry. That's trying... Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I suppose for an action, I'm just gonna cast Maji Hand. Okay. No, That's it. I have a thing for that. Yeah, I can't move it on the turn I cast it, I think, because I think it says I have to use an action. Uh, I have to use an action. Oh, you can move the hand up to 30 feet each time you use it. Yeah, I would say first turn you, you get to use it. Otherwise, what's okay. the point of casting it? So in that case, I'm going to have Mage Hand appear to pick up the sword and then put it back on the shrine and see if that does anything yeah uh we're sorry we'll leave your treasure be Our apologies. Persuasion check. Give me your grovel check. Come on, I'm good at these. Hey, yes, so good. You're gonna say plus six, you better be good at these. Jeez. <laughs> okay. we, we'll, we'll leave promptly. We're... Well, we won't even tell anybody about this place. Oh, thank the gods. I was going to say, two freaking wraiths popped through the walls, and I just said, oh, time to bend our butts over and kiss it goodbye. <laughs> uh, One of those can wipe our party. Two with an army of ghosts, we are fun. 
I yeah. think it's about time we... I'm gonna spend uh, three lay on hands for um, Bri. You know what? I think it's time we just leave this city. I no. concur. <laughs> Come on! I didn't even want to go here, and I wanted to go to the freaking... Okay, that's not true. I did want to see what happened. But I wanted to go see the other place, the freaking fireplace, the entire time. Should we uh, go before they change their mind? Yeah, let's yes. get out of here. Can, uh, I, can I open the door and get to Amina? Uh, yes. The door is suddenly no longer forced shut. The angered spirits have been appeased for the time being. Yeah, let's leave and not steal anything. Uh, no, no, no. Rai, you wouldn't have been able to one, be the one to open it, though. You are still unconscious. No, uh, JJ's somebody three, no, killed him able. by three. Oh, okay. Yeah, I did not he pumped three points far. into me. Okay, then you're oh, fine. Sorry about that. Yeah, no. that's why I got Again, up and that's speaking. on me. I have a tendency to, you, to miss things. You're so good. good. Make sure I actually have three HP. I do. Okay, cool. Yeah, no. Let's, well, let's, let's get out of this tomb, at least. I can agree to that. But y'all said we were going to go to the other place, so... I said nothing of the sort. <laughs> Josh, how do I separate them now they're stuck together? <laughs> you are the same person. Did the fusion dance and everything? <laughs> it was like uh, they fused and then I couldn't deselect one of them. Like, it? well, fetch. Yeah, come on, let's go at least look at the fireplace. We'll be safer in there. Kozak, what about um, Henry, too? Um, Harry, too. He was following Harry. me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Harry. Right, there Harry we go. Is. He's marked as hostile for me. <laughs> Same here. Uh, that's because it's just a default uh, skeleton NPC. Yes, he has hostile intentions. Uh, no well, he does while you're holding the sword. In case he disappears, I mean, 24 hours. Yeah. Okay. He might stick uh, around, though. You never know. Someone might have uh, do... used arcane recovery to get a third spell back to reassert control. Prayer of healing? <laughs> question mark. Yeah. Yeah. Please. All right. I shall do prayer of healing. Actually, minutes. oh yeah, that's very Zuko. nice. Zuko. Zuko. Yeah. Oh, those doors shut on their yeah. own. Or did we yes, shut them? Did. I guess it's ten minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think they. I think they want us to leave. So everybody gets sixteen healing. Sweet. Cool. Uh, includes me. Nice. Oh, I didn't even take any damage. Never mind. No, you. Didn't. You. <laughs> You avoid I the only one. Things. Okay, that's not true. Kozak got clapped too. But why am I like severely hurt when I'm like I'm gonna sit outside? <laughs> I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't in this situation. This is bullcrap. Sorry, man. <laughs> All right. It's the roll of the dice. I know. So once you've applied the healing to yourselves, uh, do you want to leave this place? If so, I can just lot you up where you are and copy and paste you to the new scene. Fire place, like please. Fire vault. Control C. Okay. Fire vault time. Time to activate this one. Activate. That's the wrong person. There we do to do. Hop. Ah, there we go. Come out uh, of this vault. Yeah. You can sense a drawing presence towards you, but you might have a bit of time. Let's get going. All right. Fire vault. Uh, fire vault. This, let's go. Oh, what's uh, this door? Pop. Oh, just leave the side again. To another side for you. Oh. All right. Okay. Uh, let's go. Okay. Right, the bridge. The bridge is still out. Hmm. Uh, give me a second, Josh. I gotta step away. For Does anybody a have a minute? Okay. Does anybody have tensors floating disc? 
That nope. spell does not work for much. Uh, like as a bridge, it would. How, uh, like, bad is this water? Like, bad enough, it can drag you away. Okay. Well, we had to jump across last time. I think we got to do it again this time. It right jumps across. He's, he's done with this. <laughs> I'm going to make a running jump. Yeah, running jump. Did both of you give me athletics checks. Okay. Yeah. And like last time, I'll just help everybody across that needs it so they have advantage. Okay, so plus two. Or whatever, yeah. That, that's what <laughs> whatever they get. It's plus two to your roll. That works. Oh, Can I do a uh, lucky on that? You may. <laughs> Can I do a uh, luck on that? Uh, you want to call luck upon the light. power of destiny instead of fate? Uh, yes. Go ahead, then. There we go, and... Yidimus. Where is it? Right, there it is. Athletics. Plus two. There we go. That's better. All right. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> Pop. Ident will jump over as well. Okay. Again, helping. He has athletics. Boom. Dragon's born for this. Yes. What is Amina better at? Alright, Amina's gonna do some rock hopping. Okay. Give me your acrobatics check. Oh. However, that is not good. The slip and fall. Is that Oof. enough with the plus two of me jumping at or holding out to nope. help her? Okay. Is she close enough that I can just reach down and grab her? No, she means to make a strength saving throw. Okay. Da da dun. I, I I'm kind of underplaying how bad that situation actually is. Uh, okay, she slides another. Before she goes too far, Rai jumps in. You're gonna jump in. Yeah, jump in and <laughs> grab her. Uh, All right. Jason and I have to make their way down and try to grab right. them in case they get uh, close Make up. me uh, strength saving throw at disadvantage in this case because you're trying to drag someone out of the water as well as yourself. Did I do athletics since I'm doing it intentionally? Uh, no, you have to fight the current. The current is acting upon you at this point. That's my usual logic on these things. I rolled a 20 okay. and a 5. Zoop. Zoop. Give me another one now. It's a flat roll because you, yeah, you've got allies trying to help you. I'm underselling how bad this situation actually is. The waters are rushing. You're being pushed and beaten against rocks. Gravy. I had a 20 one. in there in that last one. This is... <sighs> uh. Can't Amina be fighting also so I have advantage? But you're trying to help her. Have you, have you tried to save somebody in the water uh, who is also trying to do their own thing at the same time? Yes. Okay. Good hell, oh, I rolled oh. a one. Uh. I'm gonna succeed oh. eventually. <laughs> <laughs> eventually? <laughs> Yeah, good thing you succeeded because you were on your last one. Uh, oh, cool. So you're being pulled. At this point, the rapid gets even worse because you're near the edge. And just at the last moment, you reach out and catch. Jason. And pull okay, all cool. three of you on. <laughs> I think I just saved your life again. Yeah, probably. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Jason, I think y'all are reliable. I trust y'all. Uh, Kozak. You. You're good in a fight, but by darn in one of these situations, I swear. I'm working on it. All right. <laughs> Valid. That whole devil thing going on. Uh, I'll, uh... Where's our elf friend? Is he just chilling at the freaking... He's, He's just, just chilling in the library. library. I think, yeah. I'll try to help uh, Kozak. Yeah, I'm going to go for the rocks okay. for the acrobatics check. Yeah, right. Raya's going to be helping too. 20. Ooh. Okay. You hop from pop. one, pop, pop, to another. Yep get pulled up all right 
Harry is up. <laughs> Harry 2. Uh, what, Harry. what shall Harry 2 do? Uh, yeah, Harry 2. Ooh. He's gonna try and hop rocks. It's a You're a wizard, skill. Harry. Oh, good job, Harry. Oh, hey. He is a wizard. <laughs> 21. <laughs> Go, Skelly Boy. Alright. Oh, wow. He's, he's not really got any acrobatics or athletics. I'm gonna... I'm gonna just have him do the acrobatics check then. Yeah, again, we're Since ready to help him. So. Oh, he's fine. Oh, cool. right. Yeah, I think that'll do Even it. Even gets to land it with a flip. So literally, uh, only Amina missed that one. Yeah. Uh, nearly got two of you killed. <laughs> yeah. But not. I just want to be on the side of the river. So I can yeah. start just All hauling right. the party towards the fire chamber. Let's go. Whee! This, this way, way, right? Uh, Let's at least just go the pop in. One. There's no symbol. Oh. Where's the fire one? Hey, friends. I'm back. Welcome back. We made it over the river. Some of us almost died. Neat. <laughs> like, how sad is that? We're just like, all right, cool. Where's the fire one? Wasn't it back this way? I heard panic oh, hey, swimming. <laughs> yeah, there was trouble. Uh, Rai is completely dry because he used a fire technique to completely dry himself. <laughs> ah. So, only Amina's soaking wet. And she's probably mm. not happy about it. You're quite steamy right now. <laughs> no, like, completely bone dry. That's how that works. Bone dry. Mm, yes. Bone dry. Okay. As you can see, uh, I did hey, not Mr. perjure myself. Are we ready to make our leave? Nope. Fire. We. Did you did you find the the item? Yes, we found it. Oh, we did. Don't we did, it. but fire symbol. So we're doing that. <laughs> we shouldn't tarry for too long. Nope. Yes, we should be fast. Be we. Quick. We are. Get me the sword, and he will pull out no. a box from his backpack. He's got a special uh, box for it. Yep. Let's do it. You I don't can know. see that the inside, uh, as he pops it open, is lined with lead. Huh. Here, let me just do this. Do I'm inside him. Is he bullshizzing us, or is he for real? Oh. He's for real about wanting to put this sword in this box. Yeah, okay, that's what I figured. Give him the sword. It'll work. It'll be fine. Uh, I, I do have the running... truth, but <laughs> I don't have any more second level spell slots. Dang don't it. worry about it. Okay. If he uh, takes uh, off running, we can kill him before anything happens. Uh, Identh will give him the sword. And Jason will say, okay. if you do anything, He will, you will immediately will plop it inside the box and click it shut. He will then put a sort of a padlock on it. Cool. That's a good. Be quick. Yeah. Uh, okay. I don't need much time. I think time. you can guess which hey. vault this one is. <laughs> hey, I have yeah. an idea. I saw it. Uh, before we put, uh, Ari's, I can't remember Ari's character, the name. Amina. Amina. Before we put her in, why don't we leave her out here to make sure he doesn't run away? That's a good move. And also to conveniently get her character. <laughs> well, she's not here. Before anything happens, though, who needs healing? Because she's got healing spells that she can burn. I could use um, some. I'm fine. Say, yeah, Kozak and me will both take a healing. Kozak, how how low are you? Uh, about half. I'm I'm a little over half. So here, why don't you take the? Okay, I know what we're gonna do. So, uh, Kozak, you take the second level cure wounds. Alrighty. Let me throw that up. Spell that's not in her spells. Crap. Okay. Um. Oh, she's also got healing hands. What does that do? Uh, that is a ready? racial ability that does a small amount of healing. Equal to your level. Okay, so it's not great. Um, we'll just stick with good healing. Roll that. Uh, cure wounds. Second level. Burn that. Here you go, Kozak. Thank you. All right, nice. and I'll I'll take a first level. Anybody else need healing? Uh, right. Yes. May I suggest that uh, 
the elf dude and maybe one or two other people uh, go out with the sword, so then we don't get undead attracted. And you can do your fire oh. thing. Well, well, that's what Amina's doing. Oh, all right. Sick. She, yeah, she's going with him. That's why she's dumping spells right now. Uh, Let me read something real quick. Do you mind if I go with as well? Um, uh, we could use your help in here probably if something attacks us. Uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, I just like don't oh, want not um, to get attacked. I don't really trust that elf guy, and that is a really powerful sword. Amina pops up and says, "I can cast Glyph of Warding on the box if it's moved within or out of ten feet." Uh, hold on, what is it? Uh, da, 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 da. Are you familiar uh, with the Glyph of Warding? No, <laughs> <laughs> she has it, but it doesn't uh, trigger if it leaves the ten oh, feet. Oh goodness! goodness. It's an expensive spell to cast on that, anyways. How much? What does it cost stuff to do? Yeah. Oh, 200 GP. Dang. Never mind. <laughs> oh, nice. uh, it's great if you've got a vendetta against somebody or don't want something to move. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then again, I guess <laughs> I didn't can go with um, him. Then we just lost th two of our three healers. <laughs> True, yeah. I didn't still have some more spells left. Yeah, honestly, we'll be quick. Amina can keep on him. She's got enough spell slots left. She can kill a dude in two turns. <laughs> okay. I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you can cast Shatter at a third level and just merc somebody, that, that tends to be okay. I just hope that he isn't just somebody. Valid. No. Oh. He seemed he seemed to be telling the truth when I checked on when I looked at him, so we should be fine. Let's just go quick. I would like not to stay in this city for too long. Yes. Yeah, no, exactly. We're we're I mean, we're, goes we're hoping to not. Oh. Well, this is a lot smaller of a place than I thought it'd be. Quickly. Set yeah. here, you can see a statue of a man. His uh, an elven man. His palm is marked with the same tattoo. And it's stretched forth just low enough an average humanoid figure could reach it. I reach up and start fire. All right. The statue begins to have a faint glow as your flame courses through its form. Give me a damage roll. Okay, for one, two, or three attacks. One attack. Let's hope this isn't the Efreet in the bottle and that the statue isn't the bottle. Pretty close to max. I was too the off. Statue will slide, revealing a staircase below. We. All right. So gather me up. Who's going to go down there? All right. All right. Yeah. Let's go quick. Uh, Josh, on a scale of one to ten, how big is this dungeon going to be? Where's Harry too? And right. Uh... I'm bringing Harry too. You can. Yeah. I don't think Josh can tell us that. He told us there's enough breed inside. That. Okay. <laughs> Just figured. All right. All righty. Let's go ahead and get your characters. To do something probably dumb. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Zoom. Pop. Yep. Alright. You can see a lengthy checkered table that stretch a uh, uh, hallway that stretches before you. A series of doors on either side. And at the very end of the hallway, you can see an open door with some kind of light on an object, though you can't quite tell what it is perfectly from where you are. Alright. Everyone be careful. Uh, 
If you have to touch something strange, probably ask Rai first. Uh, Josh, it's not letting me move. Token attacher's post-processing is not finished. If you switch the scene before something, something, something. Uh, scene before, then you need to use the TA delete missing links macro. Okay. Yeah, I need to delete your missing links then. Harry, too. If something attacks, save yourself. Really, Kozak? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure really? Harry, Harry too is the most important party member we've ever had. What about original Harry? <laughs> okay, can you move yourself now? I mean, no. original uh, Harry was all right, but Harry too is pretty much an upgrade in every single yeah, you way. You know what? I, no, I can't. That's true. Yeah. Now that I'm looking I'll at him, he's an upgrade in every single way. I'll try this. <laughs> it's totally not just worse. <laughs> he did save my life this time. Not gonna lie, I don't think the bladed hands could have done that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? Yes. I'm just going to uh, delete this token. I was going to say yeah, yes. uh, Okay, use the TA delete li missing links macro. Ah, we owe our lives to Harry too. <laughs> no, I owe my life to Harry too. Y'all don't know. Nope, we all. That. We all definitely owe our lives to him. Without <laughs> with without him coming up with that plan to put the sword back, and we never would have survived. <laughs> what would happen if he just picked up the sword? He he had Harry too had a strong enough will to resist Marha. No, Kozak had a strong enough will <laughs> to vicariously resist Marha. Let's get that straight. Harry didn't do crap. No, uh, I just seem like I don't know. It just seems like you're hating on him right now for no reason. No, I like Harry too. Again, he saved my life. Huh. No, I'm not hating right. on him at all. I'm saying let's give credit where credit's due. It wasn't Harry too on that one. Kozak was a bad A. Evan, range and of you your light firm. was. What was the range uh, of your your normal light? It was just a torchlight and then the lantern. Okay, so that's what forty ah. dim, twenty bright, I think. I don't know, something like that. Not very much. Yeah, about that. All right. All right. It was enough so I there could see go. basically. I broke, I broke in the, I broke the token attacher. Uh, uh Mervier, do you know how to open doors like slowly? Like, really, really well. Yeah, Mervir, do you I want mean, to check doors? I mean, I used to, trapped? but I kind of broke my tools. How'd you break your tools? Uh, well, lockpicking isn't the... Well, it's an exact science, and I'm not exactly the most exact person, if you haven't noticed. Oh. Alright. Uh, if anybody else has a pair of tools, I would love to have them. Otherwise, oh, I'll more. just have to get more but when we're back in town. You want yeah. to open the door? Yeah, I'll open it if it if we don't have somebody to make I sure can, it's not trapped. I can check it if it's trapped. I just can't open it. Yeah, check for traps. That's okay, the main thing. Sure. Check. I have like advantage on intelligence checks with these tools. Uh, Dude, I love how every DM trapped, though you do notice a strange faint ish uh light, but it's not under that one, it would be under this one. Sorry. Okay. Huh. Well, let's open the one that's dark first. I'd... Click. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. It's you fire. Know what? I'm probably Well, fine. yeah, of course. All right, Harry, too. Watch my back. A single large uh, platinum coin of some kind. I don't, I've, I've, I've already learned my lesson about taking things that are on grave-like objects. There's a couple more in here, too. Whoa. I want to take a look at this coin here. Yeah, I was going to say, Mervir, check it out, make sure it's not trapped. Me and Jason are keeping going. I, I'm not gonna lie, I can only do pretty... so much. I, I'm not an expert in magical traps. I wouldn't know. If yeah, but was. that's why Kozak's there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll say, we literally left the two that can check for that. Okay. <laughs> there are smashed walls and broken surfaces and various uh, different golden and silver uh, potted objects roundabout. Cool. Anything in particular mm. spiking? Oh, hey, that's a staff. Indeed. That is a staff. A lengthy golden staff. Then again, we'll, I feel we'll like let if you touch it, then... Uh, yeah, totally yeah we'll let stuff. Magic Man come and check it first. <laughs> magic and Trap Man. But now we know what's in here. Let's go back. Come well, on, Jason. It looks like a gun. Is that a gun? I don't know what a gun is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Maybe right, it's let's go. Let's go. Oh, it's like a platform. No, I'm ready. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go down here. Let's go. Let's go talk to the guys that know what they're doing. 
We just kind of quick scanned the whole place. Cool. So, what is this coin? What does it look like? Yeah. Uh, it looks like a fancy uh, platinum uh, coin of made of platinum. It has a strange design upon it. Does it have a spiral design that I recognize? No. Do I recognize the design at all? Uh, give me an Arcana check. Alrighty. Uh, but I recognize the design at all. Uh, twenty-two. Oh, it's never mind. similar to something you've seen depicted before, but not the same. Mm -hmm. It seems to depict be... the wheel of the planes, except there's a lot more planes than expected, and there's a weird shape in the middle that seems to act as like a spoke to a spinning top. It's weird. It's not natural. Strange. Is it magical? Could be. Uh, uh, upon contact, if you touch it, I can describe more. Um, I would like to sure. ritual cast detect magic first. Okay. That takes ten minutes. Do we have time for that? No magic. Interesting. Um, you want to check up here and stuff? Yeah, Does there's a like... scepter up there we'll need to check, too. Okay. Does it look like it's inlaid in, like, a mechanism or anything? Uh, no. Interesting. Seems All like right. an art piece. I'll pick it up. Alright. You will take that item. Okay, that one is not a tile item. Okay, so I can't remove that. Yeah. That's fine. It's I gone. Forgot. We'll look at it on the way. Let's go fast. Are... Treasure on this map I can't remove because none of it are tiled items. By the okay. way, Kozak, treasure. All right, I'll come look at the, the stuff you got up here. So come all the way up. There's a scepter in the forest. and Okay. Do you have detect magic still up? Yep. It lasts for 10 minutes, I believe. And let's cruise. So there's that, and then there was something weird over here that Jason saw. Okay. So and scepter some keys right here. They're keys? And a necklace. Yeah, keys. Cool. And so, scepter line. first, probably. Yeah. I'll take All a right. look at the scepter. The scepter. Give me a moment. I need to find the right item for this. I think it was... Uh, it's a bit scary, but yeah. That probably will... Okay. Well, I forgot to set this one out, so I'm just gonna snag this and pop this here. Okay, this is magical. What sort of magic? Uh, evocation. Okay, that makes sense for what looks to be a staff. Um, does it have any designs on it that I can rec recognize? Uh, it has uh, a somewhat similar to the, to the fire design on Rai's arm kind of etched along its surface and it ends at a strange kind of sapphire top that seems to have some kind of blue flame at its center. Okay. So it probably casts some kind of fire magic, if I had to guess. Um, we can pick it up and hold on to it until we get a rest once we're out of here to examine it. I'm not going to find out anything more. Assuming more oh. ghosts don't suddenly show up. Yeah. True. I don't know. Right, if it's pick fire, it up. I'll, I'll pick it up. I can probably tame whatever comes at us for now. I don't know. Does it look like there's any pressure plates or anything? Uh, make me a perception check. I'll say, uh, yeah, probably like, you can do that. I these necklaces and maybe those keys. Yeah, we'll loot what we can. Uh, Nothing gets past my gaze. Them? <laughs> uh, Dent, you don't seem to see any uh, traps from your view. Long story short, we should be fine. You did not keep up with them. I'm going to drag you to keep up with them. Uh, uh, yeah. Do you want to try and appraise their value, or are you just kind of checking oh, the magical? Uh, I, I was asking uh, Kozak if he could check, see if they're magical. Yeah, just kind of glance and see if he sees anything magical in the room. Yeah, I'll, I'll skirt around the edges and see if uh, I pick up anything else. Okay. Or if you saw anything uh, in the previous none room. None of these items seem to be magical. 
Okay. Cool. So let's pick up the staff, grab what you want loot-wise, and we'll go back into the hallway. Hmm. Probably in the same place we went in to be safe. I mean, guess I'll take the keys. Yeah, when in doubt, take keys. Uh, okay. Add a nice pair of golden keys to your uh, inventory. Y'all want loot? Anything? And Does any of this I'll, look valuable? I'll take whatever this thing is. Well, it's all made of gold and silver. Hmm. Mm. So we should probably take uh, some that we can carry, however much yeah. that might be. Take some. Want, well, uh, we don't know what else is going to be in the other rooms, and we can come back also. So just pick something up now, and we can come back. We need more. What is this? Probably in. So uh, what like a sword hill? An urn. Uh, or oh, a little that thing? Yeah. Uh, this it's a little one. Tank. Uh, it's a little uh, water valve made of gold. Oh, that's slightly less interesting than I thought it would be. Fascinating. Now uh, here's. Well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. All right, go ahead. I'm gonna take these necklaces. Uh, okay. What's this one, Josh? That. It's an. It's a pot. Most of these are urns and, and pots. What's this? This is an odd choice of items to keep around. Maybe not? Mostly people this... from my culture were of the monkish relation that I know of, but that was a long time ago. Alright. I'll, I'll take so, this golden pot. Yeah. I say grab something, let's, let's each grab something in case we have to just run out of here, we have something. Uh... Let's, let's go. Josh, I didn't really hear you, but uh, I'm going to take these necklaces. You're going to take the necklaces as well? Yes. All right, go ahead and add two gold necklaces. Yeah, I'm going to take the water valve. You're going to take the water valve? Yep. Okay. I wouldn't mind having a... Uh, it's not a light item. item. How not light? Uh... Well, you're looking at something around gold involved. Yeah, something around 20 pounds. Rough. Um, I can carry that, I think, right now. Only just, though. What are uh, these things? It's like cup things. Uh, they're, uh, they are gold coins. Oh, I will take those as well. A bit larger than the modern mm -hmm. ones. I'm beginning to get greedy. It's probably a bad thing. Yeah. I'm just gonna take this thing and go. Yeah, yeah I'll take it. Be that. patient, we'll be back if we need Gold coins. Okay. So make sure you mark down the stuff that you're taking and how much. So far you haven't exhausted the resources that are there. I'm just going to. Uh, what is this? Carve those out. Carve that one out. It's like a leafy thing. thing. A leafy thing? Uh, yeah. It is a series of silver scales. Oh. Interesting. That's all I, I need. Are you uninterested? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right. Uh, there was a light coming from under that door, so there's something on the other side. Yeah, Ryle, pop it open. You can just see it cautiously. Moving. Oh, um, there's Jason's something. Gonna... You just pop it open. Hi. Uh, Jason's gonna yeah. hide right here. <laughs> you did yeah. not hide beforehand. So as you pop uh, it open, you can see what look to be two elven warriors set of armor, but their bodies are embroiled in fire and flame. Uh, let's see, what was that feature, the calming them down, pacify? Uh, they are 
definitely aware of you. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need a quick initiative, initiative. roll on that. That's what I figured. <laughs> That's what I figured. Pop. Rolling NPCs. Yeah, gum it. Almost rolled to the 18. Oh, that wasn't. <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> I thought the skeletons was my roll. Whew. <laughs> okay. Cool. Uh, Kozak, you're the last one to roll. Gotcha. All right. Ooh. Pop. Nice. <laughs> uh, do you think I go first? <laughs> What, 34 or uh, 32, 32, right? 32, yeah. Yeah. Pop, Rai, uh, Kozak, you're up. These guys uh, should Rai, be doing. what should I do against these guys? I can only stop one of them. Okay, I'm going to so. step over here and prepare, uh, prepare a sapping sting if one moves in, within Rai's range. Yeah, if one Why not aggressive. firebolt? <laughs> right. It seems like a great idea right now. Alright. That's it. Oh, that's oh yeah. They're giving, they're giving off bright light. Cool. Oh, yeah. Well, these are flames. Inflamed. I forgot to, uh, to apply the light to them when I first made these. So. Quick question, Josh. Has it been more yes. than 10 minutes since we've last fought? Uh, you took a 10 minute rest between last time you fought. So yeah, for yes. your healing. Okay, so that means that my thing is down. Alright, nice. Alright. Uh, okay. It's this one's turn. I gotta remember what they can do. Oh yeah, Arcana, these things. Kozak. Right. Or whatever it is. I just say Arcana because that's what it was first. Uh, it would be Arcana for these guys. Do I still have a chance to do that? I will allow you a chance. Okay. <laughs> Ten. Not enough. Uh, my headphones are going to die. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Uh, then it is its turn. Okay. Uh, it is going to march forward and with deadly certainty. It is with a horde <gasps> going to try to strike Rai with its flaming sword twice. Which I'm resistant to, sucker. Unless it's not a, a crit. damn one. -y. I've been crit twice today already. <laughs> Also, uh, as far as headphones go, give me a second. I'm plugging mine in. Okay. Oh, wow. That's, uh... Five points of damage to Rai. Ah, That's shoot. a really bad crit. Alright, I'm back. It really what was. did it do? Oh, I get resistance. Crit roll. I gotta roll it again. Because I didn't crit roll it, so... Um, Okay, so what's the total fire damage it's doing? It's uh, four, so so that's minus two from the total. So 14 damage to Rai, which for some reason it has broken your token again and is not showing your resources. Proper, proper. <laughs> I am invincible! All right. Yeah, so I'm a 13 HP, a folks. Nasty stab into you. <laughs> that will end this turn. Over Europe. Oh, and soon we're killing them. Snapping sting. Oh. Yeah, wouldn't the sapping sting have come into effect? It would, but he's not declaring it because I think he stepped away from the computer. Oh, sorry, I was distracted. Uh, yes, Sapping Sting. 
Okay. Uh, give me that save that I need to roll. DC 15, okay, con. Pop. Pop. Rough. Alright, nothing happens. Alright. Okay, Mariver, you're up. Uh, right, I assume we're killing them. Leave the one in front of me alone, because I'm going to do stuff to it. That makes my uh, makes this a little bit harder. Ten. Eighteen, twenty, twenty-five. Actually, settle down. I'm gonna throw a knife at this one. Okay, give me your attack roll. Uh, there it is. Skilly bop, skilly bop. Okay, uh, 13. That is not going to beat its armor class. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. I'm back. Do you want to make an Arcana check? Oh. Yes. Okay, give me that Arcana oh. check. And then, Rai, you're next. Yep. Okay, that's enough to learn something on these guys. All right, you identify this. He has the following features: flaming long, come on, flaming longsword, multi attack, inferno death, and heated form. Uh, I assume heated form is about to come into play with me, but let's go inferno death. Do they explode? Okay. Upon death, this creature breaks apart into a burst of fire. Each creature within 15 feet of, uh, of its physical form must make a DC 14 dexterity saving throw or take 6d8 fire damage, taking half on a success. Wow. That's pretty intense. Neat. Oh, right. I did not mention. I was going to rechange it so that the uh, ability score of your save was for charisma. It's normally meant for monks, but there's no point in giving you a special power if you can't use it. <laughs> Yay. You know what? I still have a bonus action, don't I? That you do. Bonus action dash! I get an opportunity. Opportunity attack? Yeah. Wish. Oh no. 17 hit you? Yeah. Okay, pop. Uh, that's 11 damage. Ow! Uh, yep. 7 slashing and 1 fire. Yep. Ow. Boy, some days I do miss Gruff. <laughs> And I'll move right there, and that's it. And his okay. eternal pool of HP. <laughs> Rai, you're up. <laughs> yeah. So you okay. said that's charisma now, right? Try and pacify it. Yes, it should work off with charisma now that I've, I've changed it. Yeah, the DC is 15. So, and they must make yeah. a wisdom save. Okay, you will reach out. And he will try to use the techniques granted to you. I boop him on the nose. Or where his nose would be. Okay. You reach forth and you grab it. You can definitely sense the presence of a tormented Shidim within this form. Peace be unto you, child. The fly fires will die out and the body will crumple to the ground. See, this Within, is a lot easier you can to find manage. a burnt elven corpse, ages old, yet seemingly trapped in its form. See, guys, Too that was a lot body. easier. Now, do you want to know the Man. downside? I can only do that once per long rest, so we need to kill this one. Nope, you oh, can only great. do that once per target per long rest. Oh! Otherwise, <laughs> the sages would be no good at stopping elementals trying to come through the vortexes. Cool. Neat. Um, that's an action. So I'm going to now 
Mervir, you think he can last a round in there with it? You'll be fine. And close the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Items would be up. Oh. I'm gonna uh, rush in next turn, don't worry, and I'll do the same thing to it. Just, I didn't be ready for some heals. Uh, I didn't will, um, huh. Let's see, uh, I guess he'll... Oh, well. <laughs> We're sick of everybody dying around him or him getting hurt. So he's just like, I'm, I'm done, click. I'll help you next round. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired of seeing people die. I'm just gonna leave this guy to die. <laughs> well, it's more like, yeah. That, uh, he would, um, try to, like, uh, hold his reaction, uh, for, hold his action. I will. For, uh, probably. Ryan's not holding the door shut. If anybody wants to run in, go for it. But just, it's closed currently. <laughs> probably a guiding bolt. Oh, so as soon as we throw that open. Guiding bolt. Once um, he sees it. All right. Jason, Jason, you are now up as Jason. Okay. Uh, 5, 10, 15. Mm -hmm. Ryan, how far is that thing in there? Probably about 15 feet. You could make it if you wanted to. Okay. But just know, we know it's going to blow up, so I figured, close the door, Mervy can probably survive one round in there. I heard just a little bit in there for me to get in. <laughs> uh, alright, well, I mean... If you want to, though, we'll throw open the doors and you can get in. I know Iden's behind me chanting something, so we can go either way. Sick, alright. Oh, that's a lot farther than I thought it would be. 5, 10, 15, 20, I was only 5 off. I only got uh, ten more feet left, so I will. Uh... Sorry, Mervier. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> I hope you took the dodge action, buddy. <laughs> uh, and I will take the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh no! It is. It is. This one's turn. Okay. <sighs> Yeah, I'm not stoked about it either. <laughs> <laughs> and bam. And bam. Oh gosh. Uh, wow. See you guys later. Huh. <laughs> huh. Another crit. Wonderful. Um. <laughs> All right. It just starts beating you down, and as it does, free me from. And that'll be its turn. Harry two is up. What do you command Harry two to do? Do we hear a thud of a person falling? All right. I'm a very small you hear person. a thud and a and a series of. <laughs> Mervy, are you okay in there? Harry two, open that door. <laughs> 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 Hey, wait, question. Would Iden's <laughs> guiding bolt have gone off when we poked open the door? Uh, uh one moment. I need to check his line of sight true, yeah. for that. Well, it was he in line of sight not before. Have that's line of sight on it. No, but I mean before when we opened the door, w wouldn't he have had it? When you opened the door came after it beat him down. No, we opened it. Jason opened it and closed uh, it. I did open it for the I didn't forget uh, that I didn't. It would have, that. but he did not call it. It's okay. True. Yeah, I forgot about that. Sorry. My D. That's okay. <clears> okay. <throat> it pushes a bit past Jason and just pushes the door open and gets pushed back into its place. Kozak, yeah, I can get up to up. it. Alrighty. On my turn, I'll do something that'll either really solve this fight or we're going to have to deal with some stuff. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have uncanny dodged one of those. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, like, uncanny dodge, but... <clears throat> you said that the other one was a dead body, right? Yeah, it's gone now. Uh, it, it's just fully crumpled. It's a charred like... mess. 
Oh, would it? Would I? Oh, it's. Are there it bones? It is full there? char. Oh, okay. I guess uh, it wouldn't matter. Probably I would not. Have been down either way. Okay. So, two move in here. I'm going to. <sighs> Can I save Mervier? It doesn't hit you while you're down, right? Is he down? Uh, it has not had the opportunity to do so. Oh yeah, Mervier is down. Oh. <laughs> Crap! I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, All no, right. that's fine. I love this game. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and Chainer's Gaze it first. Good. That All that right. very much will help. Uh, so it that's gonna needs to make guy. a wisdom save. Indeed. That's a fail. Okay, that's a minus D6 on all its saves. So then it gets to lose yeah. the D6 from this saving throw. That is a fail. Wonderful. And that, that much damage and it falls prone. prone. Okay. Step back. Take cover behind Harry too. Bam. Okay. Uh, that's your turn. Yep. Okay. Mirifer, make me a death saving throw. Kill it. I haven't had to do this yet. I don't know where they are on here. Uh, you'll Hold find on. it I'll on find your them. attributes. Uh, it'll list death saves. Just click that. I must be blind because I can't find this. Hold on. There it is. Okay. Okay. Skilly pop. That's a big old no. Ooh. Ooh. Well, it wasn't a one. Okay. Yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, yeah, I'll take this over a one. Yeah. Alrighty. Uh, Rai, you're up. <gasps> All right. I'm gonna do a dumb thing. We. Okay. You gotta go around the corner and then you. Yeah. Yeah, that's even shorter. <laughs> All right. Okay. And stop hurting my friends. <laughs> okay, minus D6. Minus yeah. D6. Oh my goodness. Dang. Oh no! Do you have a coronal shift or anything like that? I'm out. I'm spent. My oh. goodness. What is with my luck today? What is Josh's luck? I... He's rolled like seven natural I 20s rolled... today. I have. Okay. Well, Love I'm not dice, dealing. Man. It works. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. Um, where's my? This is a bonus action. I'm not dealing with your crap today, buddy. <laughs> okay. Armor up. Crit me if you want to hit okay. me. Okay. <laughs> That's where Audience I'm at. Is up. Uh, five, uh, ten, by the 15. way, as you touch it. You try to exert a pacifying will upon it, and it seems to get angrier. <laughs> you can see an angry face of fire form behind the head. Yeah, bring it on, small fry. He's gonna healing word. Uh, <clears throat> uh, quick hands. Okay. Oh, minimum, but still four. Yeah, I'll, no, I'll take, I am very grateful. I'll take what I can get right now. <laughs> no longer unconscious. As soon as I see Mervier wake up, I look at him and say, get out. <laughs> Just run. All right. And I didn't keep those heels handy. Is that Iden's turn? Uh, I think Iden will, uh, move uh wait wait so that was 5 10 15 so 30 down there okay that's his turn yep jason you're up uh i can't necessarily select jason because i don't have view of him so i'm gonna go around here and do that 
Uh, wait, but I can't move items back down. Just select where <laughs> you think he is. Just select where you think he is. Oh, and okay, it'll pop cool, up. cool. <laughs> <laughs> the infinite loop. All right. Uh, anyways, over here. Uh, so don't attack him, right? He is prone. Uh, if you could proceed with a vicious stabbing. Uh, when he tries to get up, uh, I'll attack him with Soul Squatter. You're gonna wait till he gets rid of your advantage? Yeah, I don't want him to explode. <laughs> what? Well, with Quick Hands here to, like, die. I see. It'll be fine. Just stab Okay. Him. And that'll be all. No, I was gonna say, no Riot looks okay. at you and says the same thing. Get out of my way. Uh, I will. Say ranged attacks are what okay. we're needing here. I'm the only one who can tank this. He will get up. <gasps> okay. And he will make cleaving strikes. Actually, uh, when he gets up, uh, I, I would have a uh, soul searcher attack. Go ahead and make the attack, then. I don't want to kill it with this, so... You know what? Yeah, I want to do it. I don't want to... Yep. Yeah. Oh, never mind. You guys know what you're doing. Okay. Swing it, Rai. Swing it, Jason. Ooh, that hits. It's first time I'm uh, Damn. Just makes a cleaving strike and just hits straight into the under gut of your armor. That'll end its turn, though. Harry is up. Alright, Harry. Run in there. Attack it. No, have Harry body block and push it if he can. Can he not go far enough? He can get that far. Alright. Good job, Harry. <laughs> Don't skeletons have bows? This one doesn't. He does. Oh, I asked earlier, and you said he didn't have one. All right. Did I did I say he didn't? Yeah, I asked specifically. I was like, is there a short bow around here? And you were like, there are short swords. Oh. Yeah, I'm remembering it now. I have to stay consistent. So no, he doesn't have it. short sword. I got to remember to change the stat blocks whenever I make a statement about something so that I don't forget it later. Kozak, you're up. All right. Um, doop. Doop. Sapping sting again. All right. Okay, I'm being dumb. I need to make the roll. Minus a d6. Yeah, could could be enough. It is not, unfortunately. Alright, takes no damage. Okay. Step back. Alrighty. That one's pacified. Mirror. Alive! And in deep, terrifying presence. I'll stand up. It's <laughs> for 25. So I got 10 feet of movement left. I can use this to my advantage. Dude, just get out of the way. I need an angle. Just get out of the way. Okay. Hey, I will... Yeah, I'll bonus action disengage and go skilly pump. And I will use the dodge action. Alrighty. Alright. Right. He is immune uh, to your pacifying effect. Yeah, which is a pain in the A, but it's fine. Let's see, is this the one I'm wanting? Yes. 
Okay, so I take one step this way, still in his range, and where is it? Spells. Flashbang. All right, should be that one. Put it that way. And I'm not looking for the fire damage, I'm looking for the push him away from us. Since, you know, fire damage probably isn't going to do much to this guy. Uh, okay. Strength save. Fifteen. I think that just saves. It's charisma plus... Uh, Proficiency plus eight. Proficiency. No, nope, so we're at 16. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it! No, I'm at a 4, not a 5. Dang nope. it. It tied. Yeah, it's fine. Hi. That was, that was my move. <laughs> Y'all feel a rush of wind. <laughs> like, holy, he's been able to do that this whole time. Y'all have been in the way. <laughs> mm. Yes, he's been able to create beautiful flashes of fire. Yeah. That's I'm it for sorry, me. I'm done playing it. <laughs> we turned out really Dude. well out of that one. Yeah. Okay, All right. this up. I did. Uh, you will, um, guiding bolt. That thing. Okay, give me that attack roll. That's an amazing. A 14 impactful. is not going to hit. Yep. Uh, that'll be all for him. Okay. Jason, you're up. Okay. Make my Soul Scorcher attacks. Ooh, that one hits. Lots of hit. That misses. Really? Okay. Nine points of damage. Ha! You slash into him. <coughs> he has just begun. Alright, All right. Harry is next. Unless you All have right, something Harry. else you want to do on your turn. Nope. Run around to the other side of the Jason and attack it. Keep your distance. We know 15 feet when this thing blows up. Want a short sword attack. Pop. He does not get through the armor. Alright, Harry, now get out of there. <laughs> oh, you want him to go another 15 feet away? Yeah. Yeah. Then I am going to okay. Sapping Sting. Alrighty. So we throw minus D6. Let's see if he falls prone again. Nope, he succeeds. Unfortunate. All right. Just barely, both times. Yeah. I'm good. Question Why is it getting a double plus two, though? Because he's. Uh, pro probably proficiency uh, and. Proficiency. Yeah. Bad gum. All right. Why is he getting a double plus two? It, sh it should be a different I... modifier. Shouldn't it? Is it proficiency? Oh, it's constitution. Okay, yeah. No, he's proficient with constitution. I thought it was a strength save. No, no. And that's why it was going. Wait, that should be different. No. Yep, that's correct. It's it's taking all the different modifiers and adding them together separately. That's how this program works. Okay, that's your turn. Yep. Uh, Merver, you're up. Get out of here, Merver. You're going to get hurt. Uh, skilly Pop. I'm going to throw a knife at it. <laughs> My, my last knife at it. Okay, give me a uh, ranged attack throw. It's going to pop. 
That will hit. Skilly pop and hit your sneak attack damage. Skilly pop. Okay. That was good sneak attack damage. That was. All right. Pierce is the physical form. All right, Rai, you're up. And Ident is next. There. Okay. Oh, we got hey. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Now I can. Now okay. can. I said I'm gonna forego the four damage on these, just so it's normal bludgeoning. Okay. Again, I don't think fire is going to do much against fire. You gotta fight fire with fire. Okay. I'm actually going to provide you with AD with me. Yeah, do those hit? Oh, what? Oh, I guess I well, should also. <laughs> uh, what is no, it? Arcana check? I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh, the first one hits. The 19 doesn't hit? The 19 does not hit. Holy crap. And that doesn't do anything for Arcana. Cool. Um, fine. What is it? Just a D8 plus whatever. Here. Uh, it's just a. Yeah, D8 plus your strength mod. Cool. Da, 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 there's that. So plus whatever my... Er, ah, it's strength. Every time I always think it's charisma. Charisma. Three plus, plus three, so six. Yeah, six. Six damage. It's not like it's doing uh, that much. Oh, Mervor's attack has been done at advantage because, or wait, no, the um, guiding bolt missed. Right, so never mind. Ident is up. Uh, well, um, uh, I don't think you can. Can you upcast guiding bolt? You can. Huh. Oh, then I guess he, well, yeah, he'll try to do that. Maybe, should he save his spell slots, or? That's true, yeah, I probably should save him. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be spending them on the right, he isn't my character. Uh, yeah, I think if he moves uh, toward Mervir, then he'll get him bolted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm assuming that's the end of turn, Jason. Yes. Uh, yep, just gonna try to solve Well, Jason, I don't know what it is today, but you sound just like Ident. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's an amazing that's a miss. attack. That's a miss. That will hit. Okay. It's starting to look a little hurt. Nah. Does that end your turn? Yep. Okay. It is up. First against Rai. Next against Jason. Alright. Takes two swings, both of you deflect his strikes as it's taking an offensive stance. Harry is up. All right, Harry. Run away. No. Dash. Cool. He's at least a little better than Henry is at running away. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He at least listens. Kozak, you're up. <laughs> All right. It'll work this time, I swear. Sapping sting. All right. It works every time except when it doesn't. 
rough one on the d6. Alright. Um, step back a little bit to here and enter. Okay. Mariver. Uh, my first knife is somewhere around fight. here, right? Huh? Somewhere around there, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna go try to pick it up if I can see it. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's about right. All right, free uh, in your free action, pick it up. Yeah, and can I make the icon? Do we know everything about him? Uh, you do not. Okay, then I'll make that arcana, right? I guess it doesn't matter for yep. me. Skilly pop. That is good enough to learn two things. He has flaming uh, longsword, multi attack, and heated form are what are remaining. Sure, we'll do heated form uh, on his features. Okay, yeah. heated form. Oh shoot, and I have to actually uh, do some stuff on that. It's like that. Uh, heated form. Each time a creature touches a shoot in, they suffer from the extreme heat of its body. Anytime a creature makes a melee attack on the shoot in within five feet, it takes two points of fire damage. Cool. Fun. Neato. Does Jace? Sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Has Jason Jace taken fire damage? Burned. Okay. Yep. How did I miss that? I haven't been calling it. Hmm. All right. Uh, and He's then hit it twice. For the other thing. Uh, Everything I do is range. Do its defenses. That's just a standard thing, right? Uh, the defenses, yeah, I'm gonna learn resistances, uh, I can yeah. do that. that kind of stuff. Yes. Okay, uh, it has a immunity to fire and resistance to non-magical physical attacks. Uh, in addition to that, I can provide you a vulnerability. It is vulnerable to cold damage. Oh, I will announce that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't think it's too keen on getting frosty. I mean, that's probably pretty obvious, but... Alright, and then... I'll move ten feet over to here. Okay. Can I see? Can I throw my dagger at it? No, I'd go through Jason. Yeah, it'd be partial cover. Yeah, and I, it's already so high. You know what? I have a better action. Let's do Death Strike stuff. Alright. Give me That's... an investigation check. Uh, Skilly Pop. Uh, that does not beat its armor class, so you do not gain the benefit. Curses. Uh, Rai. Iden, yeah. uh, Iden says to uh, get out of the way. He has a plan. Okay, well, I'm gonna do the thing first. Josh. Yeah. Could I trade a point of exhaustion to try again on the pacify? Uh, you want to try and exert yourself upon this? Yeah. I mean, I could steal an arcadum uh, mechanic and let you try a clash. What is that? It's not really something I do, but I think it's cool, and I think you've got an idea here that might be fun. Basically, you make contesting rolls, and the highest result gets the winner, but it's a scaling thing so basically if he wins he gets a positive and it can be nasty and if you win you get a positive it's a cool concept i don't use it but hey we could experiment here okay um i'd i'd be down to try it you want to try it well yeah right. sure let's steal his movie mechanic all right how do you want to clash with it though you're trying to reassert the the pacify right yeah basically essentially a you will bow to my will okay. type thing all right but keep in mind uh if you fail uh that means negative on you instead and that's it fine it's worse the more you fail bye yeah so uh, all right let's put it this way i'm Trying this, and if it fails, I'm running. Luckily, <laughs> like... because of the nature of your thing, 
These are contested charisma rolls. <laughs> uh, what kind of charisma? Can I use intimidation or persuasion? Ability check. Just straight up Just charisma? Charisma. Force of will. Uh, right, he gets his negative six, right? Negative d6? Uh, it is not a saving throw. Dad gum it. Oh, please. All right, let's see. What? No. Oh. No. <laughs> By one freaking point. Wait, no. oh, hold doesn't on. Doesn't he get like the yeah? Nice hold on. D6? Yeah, what is, doesn't the d6 apply to this? It's yeah. not just saving throws. No, no, it, it does not apply to this. It's only saving throws. Ah, okay. Where's Bane when we need it? <laughs> or uh, burn against Bardic Inspiration, for that matter. I know. Honest to goodness. Okay, Rye. What happens? It's not going to be that bad because you didn't lose by that much. Uh, you are going to exert your will upon it and try to uh, bust it. Uh, I don't have the mechanics for it just yet, but you gain a stage of Shadim Corruption as it seems to change a portion of your very soul. Ugh. For now, All right. you have a point of exhaustion. Cool. And with that, I'm going to take the opportunity to attack and just move. Okay. I got a 19. I should be fine. I say as it's probably going to crit me again. Miss. Suck a chode! <laughs> For those of you that can't see, I'm are flipping you? it off right now. Why I'm are very you tempting wheel fate away from right it. now? Why are you tempting fate right now? It clearly hates you today. Okay. I, uh, no, it always hates me. What do you, why do you think I always play rogues? Then I didn't or stop. normally play rogues. Because then it doesn't matter what fate says. I have a plus freaking like 11 or whatever. I didn't will, uh, I don't know if he's cast this before, but he will do a sleet storm. Sleet storm. Yes. All right, hit that button. Uh, let's see. Sleet storm. Oh, and I, I don't really know. You cannot place it within sight of wall. The center has to be within a visible location if you're trying to get the circle to not be affecting people. Uh, right there. Okay. Uh, then that means Good it call. and everybody else inside the area must make a dexterity saving throw. Go ahead and just push that button that was provided. Minus D6. Good call on the placing. Yep. Thank you. He is rolling. Why is he rolling so today? damn good? Wow. Say. Okay, 40 foot radius centered on the point. With it, sells the area for the first time on a turn or starts a turn there. It must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, so, wait, does this only cause the area to be. Difficult to traverse. Um, it could be good for like making concentration check ha checks happen. It's it does explosive in the area are doused. I doubt that happens. That's too not bad. going to okay, affect right. it here. Oh, okay. okay. So these are just to avoid fall. Uh, the dexterity saving throws just to avoid falling prone. Uh, okay. So that's its next turn roll, I guess, as well as for it both of you. It does say exposed flames in the area are doused. It's not yeah, going yeah. to be enough to affect it. Not even like any kind of damage to it? Uh, no. Because like a normal no fire elemental, if you have water yeah. fly through it, it does ten, uh, d10 uh, of damage just because water. I know what, I know what you're getting at with that, but uh, not really in this situation. Yeah, I got it. Where's the shot? Okay. Uh, Jason, you're up. Are you concentrating on anything? I'm not. Okay. Uh, uh, is... However, that was a failed save at the start of your turn. Right, so I'm prone. So you fall to the ground. You can get back up. Yeah, I can. It's the place heavily obs obscured, so I would have disadvantage, right? No. Okay. Or heavily obscured. Right. Um, it is a bright light. So I'm gonna say probably um, 
not in this case. All right. You know, it's a freaking burning guy. <laughs> but it might will... have a difficult time seeing you oh, if you wanted well. to pull out. I will uh, get back up and try to stab it. Hey. We could just try and run at this point. Sure we can. It has a hard time seeing you, so give me an advantage roll on that. Oh, advantage? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll roll two more and see if I get a crit. Uh, just roll another one at advantage. Okay. And... Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> and, uh... Okay. okay yeah. That's two so, hits. Yes. Nice. Okay. Pop. Pop. All right. And I still have 15 feet left, so I will go there. Follow-up question. Would that make it so he doesn't get burned because there's ice flying around everywhere? Uh, sure. Yeah! At least something. Yeah. True. All right. Uh, oh. Okay. Thomas the Tank Engine <laughs> makes an appearance today. All right. It's it's always the mustache and glasses <laughs> that throw me. That off. is. All right. Uh, yeah. It's going to move out of the area to go oh, uh, to avoid uh, having to deal with it, and since it did succeed on its roll, it didn't have to fall. So as you're stepping out, it bounds out of the fog and. Leaps up to here and swish, swish on both Jason. All right. Miss miss. Hey. Chunk chunk. Thank Harry is up. Is it. <laughs> Thank yeah. goodness I didn't hit Harry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I assume Harry's right. going to attack it. Um. Yeah. Go we'll get him. Swing a sword at it. I believe in you, Harry, too. Oh. That actually hits. Hey! Yeah. Good nice job, job, Harry. Too. Nice. I swear if it kills it. Please tell oh. it's dead. <laughs> no. Oh. Go, Zach, you're up. All right. Uh, third time's the charm? <laughs> he says on round six. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, minus d6. I know it's about round 13. It stops having to deal with that. Oh. Well, I tried. Oh, Dang it. It's just not going to fail. It is his good save. Yeah, but he's also rolled like above average on all of its bad saves for me, too. So, you know. This is true. Th this little fetcher, I'm done with. He just refuses death. It's not even death, it's be at peace, you dumb dumb. <laughs> I mean, jeez. Alright, not your turn? Yes. Okay. Merver. You're good. Okay. Uh. To, to move, so if I mean. I'm coming out of the fog, can I bonus action hide and come uh, at him from a, this angle, or? You can. Cool. I'm gonna do that. Skilly, uh, pilly. Ooh, nice. Okay. And then skilly pilly, and well, I guess you I only have to get to right there. Okay. Bop. That does hit, and wow, yeah. two fourteens. The game's just demanding oh, yeah. set numbers. <laughs> Absurd. That's Skilly nice. Pop. I'm so done with this thing. Skilly pop. Uh, 
Okay. You plunge the dagger into its form. It is sadly still on its feet. Unfortunate. Right. It is certainly looking somewhat heavily damaged. You're gonna you're trying the clash again? Hello. You there? <laughs> Are you? We can yeah, sorry, my mic was off. Oh, I yeah. said, I dare you to roll over a 21. I'm just kidding. I know it's going to crit, so clash, yeah. All right. The, the, clash the severity accident. might be a bit worse this time <laughs> if you do fail. I know. Hey, nice. All right. All of the middle fingers. And you finally managed to pacify it. Go away. I didn't think going to drop uh, the blizzard. That's good. Also, I've got to be going here pretty quick, so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Phew. So. Uh, what's this? These that things. Dissipated. Starts more, looting. Is <laughs> like, uh, like on the ground, panting. A few uh, other golden trinkets and such. I will take them. Okay. <laughs> Two more. Definitely not trying to get like flame armor or anything. Uh, what are they called? Uh, these ones will be... Um, uh, they'll be equivalent to the large gold coins, so... Alright. Alright. Okay. I gotta dip out, so... Peace out, guys. Well, I have, I have yeah. to ask. Huh. Dare continue forward? Or return back out? Rise vote is yes, no matter what. Yes to what? Continue forward. <laughs> like, um, it, it's gonna be continue forward until we at least do something here. Rai wants answers. I do kind of want some more stuff. Mervir's vote is get the heck out. Come on, Mervir. No, one moment. I, I, I'm just gonna go grab some more things, and then I'll be right back. You're going to continue I... to try to loot. <clears throat> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you don't know how many thing. of these things there are. That's true. Yeah. Uh, no, Mervir's vote is to get the heck out. There is gonna... a clear path toward the very end too. If you want to try We could just thing. get to the end, but that again, that'd have to be an adventure for next time. That's what I'm trying to get. Uh, yeah, he Josh <clears throat> wants to know what to plan for next time. I say we go to the end. We can always just open the door, say nope, and walk out the door. <laughs> I don't feel super strongly either way. I'm pretty low on spells, but... Um... Uh, Ident has almost no spells. I've yeah. still got my AC for 10 minutes, so if we go quick, I'm fine. It's just, basically, as soon as that's out, Rai's like, yeah, we're, we need to be out of here. Okay. What am I planning for? Like Push. I said, my, um, it, it seems like it's two to... I'm voting I vote, no... I vote we loot and get out. Like, loot so, does. Well, to loot, you gotta continue. Yeah. True. So... If you want to keep looting, that sounds like a continue vote. And that will that will take time. It will risk more combat. Uh, I I would vote get out then. Yeah. Come on, guys. We we can see the end of the hallway. Just go peek in the door, and if we don't want to deal with it, we just close the door and walk away. All right. I'm fine with staying, but um. All right. You know what? I'll take the peeking thing. Yeah, yeah. Sure. if it seems like it's going to be a fight, we, first off, we hide before we deal with it. Second off, if it's going to be a fight, we close the door and we just walk out. Right, I'll come back another time. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Alright, then I'm going to do some calculator stuff. Alright. And uh, we'll call this session to a close.